first before, before we go live, or should I get it right now? Autodidactic, the self-educated on what's actually Weird. out there. He's trying to rediscover, research, remember. With what's gone in the, on in the last few years, it's like, can we really trust the information we've been given about anything? You know, if they're not going to tell us what's good for us, for our mental and physical well-being then why would they tell us the truth about where we came from you know because that's the biggest thing is people don't want to believe they've been lied to you know obviously no one wants to be lied to and then the next bit after that is they would never do that to us you know you know the government loves us but does it really because we trust the science like literally that they put on the front for us on their they tell live vision where they have their cast and they do a broadcast from Hollywood with their little Holly wands. But it's just a it's just a front, right? Just like they put on the buildings. It's just a front. We used the, their foundations and then covered it with a facade. Uh, catastrophism used to be taught in higher education at the geology. It wasn't the um, crustal displacement theory, it was catastrophism and that there was many resets. So it, we're just starting to put the pictures back together and the maps and trying to add everything up because so much has been deleted. Cartaria, where did it come from? What's the real story? It, it seems like, and there's a lot of, you know, debate about the word Tartaria. And of course, you know, we use it because you know, it's, it's a topic, that's a word people know, but it's the old world. But the more we look into this, I mean, Tartaria, um, basically in the old encyclopedia, it says it was, it was basically all, the whole Northern Hemisphere at one point. So it seems that it was not a country as we think of them, but more of a, a civilization, I guess, where yeah. there was independent countries, but they were all sharing the same information and technology and working together. Yeah, and then basically o over time during catastrophes it got broken apart and those um, people who like to take advantage shall we say sort of jumped in and, and stole it all. It's the same civilization that same Slavic uh, civilization and technology and whatnot or group that uh, later was Tartaria and then I guess broke apart I would have been right before of the world wars, right? That would have been the last remnants being wiped out. You know, the censorship that we see now, that's a book burning. That's just a book burning, but done on the internet. Burn it. Our time. You know, and, and the calendars and the dates, we know they're always flipping calendars around, right? You know, from Julian to Gregorian, you know, we talked about um, the Slavic calendar being, you know, in the year 7,000, we know that, uh, what, Judaism is in the year 5,000 somewhere. You know, all these different dates, and we're to call we're in the year 2022. But are we? And, and what does that even mean? Right? How can we be in the year 2022 if, if someone else is in the year 5,000 and something, and someone else is in the year 7,000, right? Right, the, like the grand cycle and why so many ancient civilizations paid so much attention to it and building the measuring the the megalithic structures that have lasted throughout all of time that's the grand celestial calendar to this day and it's why they're trying to have this great reset yet again right now because everybody's waking up so they want to try to erase it all over again don't ever try this at home
Greetings, awesome beings. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, we're running a little bit late. Today I'm going to blame Bernie because um, his computer's <laughs> just shut down. Um, and we have Beats and we have Douglas from UAP joining us today as well for a chat. Welcome, Douglas. Hey. Of course, you haven't seen his channel. Make sure you go and check it out. Awesome work there. And Bernie's back. And um, so today oh, yeah. we're going well, today the plan was to talk about photographs and, and you know, sort of give our perspective on that. But um, we'll see how it goes, right? Um, as many of you may have seen, there was a video released this morning um, about us, basically, <laughs> with a bit of um, interesting um, creative editing, shall we say. So we'll see how we go. But um, we basically don't want to get into their game and, and you know, you know, get pulled down to their level. So... We're just going to present some information. So, how is everyone? Welcome, everyone. Bernie, UAP, and RB. Doing good. Doing. Awesome. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Worked all day. Tired, but I'm here. <laughs> Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Let's do how it. Are you Been a while since we've had a chat. Oh, can you hear me, Doug? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can. There it is. How you yeah. yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, it's good to good to do this and, and have the guys here and uh, ready to talk about canals, Tartaria, or whatever. All right, let's do it. All right. So, hello to everyone in chat. 137 of you watching. Thank you all for being here. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try and keep this <laughs> um, civil, right? And just go through some info. But um, who knows, right? Beegs is chomping at the bit for me to rip his muzzle off. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> so um, should we just start in with, uh, we'll start with pictures, I think. Let's just jump into it. Um, and, you know, basically there's, there's a lot of talk about pictures, um, middle skies, editing, blah, 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 blah. What's the story? We, we, probably most people have seen there was a video put out on photographs and talking about colour and, and how they um, change colours. But the thing is, a lot of the photos we look at aren't, aren't um, uh, what, what is it, silver? They're not They're not photographs, right? They're glass plates. Glass plate so negative. It's really type of photography for starters. So we're going to get into that and see what the deal with pictures is. So uh, I'll hand it over to you for a bit there, Beats. You sure you want to do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know. Okay. I, I live on the edge. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me uh, let me just uh, kind of uh, preface by explaining um, what uh, the flip flop nation is trying to say. Um, they're saying that uh, the old pictures um, are orthochromatic photography, and um, that is true. However, that's only one kind of photography, and. The images that I have personally been showing as photo manipulation are not this type of photography. They're known as glass plate negatives. And um, they are also saying that the vanilla sky is created by taking uh, in the chemical process that blues will um, show up in the orthochromatic photography process as white. Now, that may be true. That is probably true. But my point of view is I don't give a damn. Okay. It doesn't have anything to do with my research. Okay. I am going to show you tonight, as I've shown many, many times before, I'm going to show you how they vanilla skied. Now, I can't prove why they vanilla skied. Only the people that did this will be able to tell you that. But I'm going to prove to you how they did vanilla skied. And if you don't understand by the end of this live stream, there's no help for you. Okay. I'm going to prove this. This is not going to be my opinion. I'm going to prove it without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Yeah. Actually, before you jump into it, maybe we will put that, that, um, uh, where is it? That video up quickly. Do you have that? Hand yeah, I can, uh, um, got that? Yeah, I can present that now. Uh, so that's just like a one one minute video. Yeah, I've just got to a sort clip of here of... now. This now let me preface this by saying that this is a modern method of vanilla skying. Uh, what this was used for is when they were making the postcards, they would take the images and they would cut out the backgrounds and put in 
a uh, a sky with uh, certain kinds of um, clouds in the background. And when they did that, um, it would they would have a bunch of postcards with the same sky. Now it get what the point of that is is that it gives you another idea as to how they could have vanilla skied. That's not how I'm going to say they're vanilla skying, but it gives you a, another idea. So let me. Uh, let me share this uh, file. Um, and uh, I mean, because ba there's been this big debate about, you know, it started with construction photos, you know, and, and are these photos manipulated? And then obviously we, we got into the vanilla skies where we started to see this effect. And that's been yeah. the question. Are they, are they, or were they manipulating these photos? So, I mean, I think at this point we know that it was definitely possible for them to do it. Oh, absolutely. Um, have you got me full screen uh, for the video? Um, no, I haven't got you. Have you hit share? I haven't got you at all. Oh, you're oh, going oh. you, to you have to share it. Um, there you go. Offered to photo correct. Oh, one, yeah. oh, oh, whoops. Problem sorry. in the image. So if the sky, for whatever reason, didn't look the way a customer wanted it to. The artist would cut out a mask that would go right up the telephone pole and across it and down and go roll on the roof line or whatever it was. Then you would put the sky behind it and you'd match the two of them up. These two cards have the same image in the sky because they had stock images of skies. And most people wouldn't have known the difference. I mean, who goes to a store, buys three postcards and then grabs a magnifying glass and looks at what they got? Nobody. Okay, so... um that is uh, one way um, that a vanilla, vanilla sky could have been done. Now, that is not the way that I'm going to show you how it was done, okay? Uh, you ready for me to start getting into pictures? Yeah, hey, let's do it. That time. Okay. Oh, Leagues is here. All right. Um, I'm going to share screen now. Okay, let me know when you see it. Yep, yeah, we got you. I'll put okay. you on full. Strap in, y'all, because I'm going to go fast. Okay, we got right here, they have etched it out trying to get rid of this phone pole. You got Vanilla Sky. You can see what they do is they scrape the back of the uh, glass plate negative. You can see the scraping right across the top here, right there. You can see it right there. You can see it in between the sign right there. And you can see it on top of that building right there. Right here, you have a photo manipulated picture where they take pictures of real people and they inserted them into this World's Fair photo for an ad. So that is photo manipulation. Here you have Vanilla Sky and you can see in the background how jagged it is right here. They forgot to cut off. They cut off some of the building they shouldn't have. Uh, you can see some of the remnants of the glass plate negative that have been scratched off right there. Moving on. Um, this one right here, they have vanilla skied. Oh, sorry. They have vanilla skied this one. And another technique that they use there right here, they missed the vanilla sky. Uh, they didn't scratch that part out right here. They did another technique where they paint the, they paint the glass plate negative to bring out the details of the glass plate negative. And you can clearly see the lines that have been painted in the photograph. And I will show you many, many of these as well. This was another technique that was done. Uh, you can see it has obviously been vanilla skied. Here's one where they took out trolley lines and they do a little bit of scratching on the glass plate negative to make them a little bit lighter. And right here, and then right here is a uh, picture that they have painted. And you can see they've painted the smoke there. Here's a little bit closer. You can clearly see the paint. And they have painted a little bit on the little men right here to make them pop out. This is another technique that they did for photo manipulation. Here we have a picture. This is Sydney, Australia. During construction, they have uh, taken right here and take... Uh, scratched out right there and right here i don't know what they're doing there i'm not saying i know why they did this i'm just saying that i can prove it here's another image where they have taken out trolley lines right here and they've taken out something right here that you can't see 
and right here and you can see the trolley lines going across the building right there it has been vanilla sky as well here's a better close-up image of the where they have painted it out that is paint on the glass plate negative and there is another close-up uh, here is an image everything looks pretty normal and then they have painted it okay as you get into it and you can see the painting there and here is a little bit better quality and i have to take these at in in stages to get them offline here's a little bit better quality you can see the paint really good on these where they have taken a glass plate negative and painted it that is photo manipulation 101 you can clearly see that is a painted person on a glass plate negative photograph same here moving on we have another image that is this is a photograph that they have painted and it's a little bit difficult to see on this one but it is a photograph that has been painted not one of the better ones but it is a photograph that has been painted same thing with this one you can see the man here and the paint and we'll get a little bit more detail okay and that is a photograph that has been painted and here you can see the paint a little bit better here here i'm moving quick because i've got so many to go through i'm not play big in the night okay here's one in sydney australia this has been this is a great example of how they vanilla sky what you're looking at is a glass plate negative that they have not taken off the complete back and what they have done everything that is white is where they have vanilla skied it now if you get in close you will see that there are men standing on the tops of these bells there's legs here 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 uh here 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 and here 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 and here there are men standing on those bells so that's about 12 to 13 men on top of those bells that had been vanilla sky out of the picture and you can see right here they did not vanilla sky behind these men that is proof positive that is how vanilla sky is done this is not questionable yeah, i agree okay. i mean you can't it's you can't debate it you know, you just can't. Uh, this one has been painted in order to cover up anomalies in the picture. For some reason, you can see the paint here and here and here and here. They're taking out lines. This one has been vanilla skied. I believe I have some closer up. You can see the, the paint here, 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 here. You can see the paint um, here, here, here. Here, 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 here. On the, the American flag has been painted. Uh, the, it's been painted here, here. It's been painted here. It's been painted across here, across here, and up here. Here's some more of the same image, and you can see the paint. It's obvious. They also have paint at the top of the image right here. It's hard to tell, but it is there. That is white paint that has been painted onto a glass plate negative uh, people are saying you're hurting their brains big you might need to slow down a touch uh, well i'll try <laughs> you did say we're gonna go first, <laughs> we do have a bit to go through but yeah people are i think they're trying to have, have a look but i mean we will also um i can put you we'll get the photos posted as well so that people can go through them at their own Pace. And I'll um, I'll upload is, these, and you can post these all on your uh, on this video for people to go look at. Cool. I'll I'll make it easy for people, and they can go do their own thinking. Uh, this one has been painted. Um, the paint lines are right here, 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 here. This is painted here. And that's interesting because that's something that I was noting with the vinyl skies is. The foregrounds have always got really good shadows, but clearly it's probably painted in, right? <laughs> I mean, it's just darkened. Right. I might have a double there. Okay. This one, let's see what we got. 
Oh. Um, vanilla Sky, obviously. They have not taken out the Vanilla Sky right here. You can see it's gray here, white here. Oh, this is a great example. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, been yeah, Vanilla yeah. Sky on the top, but not between right here. You can see how it's gray there. Um, Beeks, there was a question. What's the point of them saying they've been painted? You're, you're pointing out that the negative was painted, not the actual building was painted. Right. Yeah. Right. So that, that, that they were glass plate negatives where they, they turn them over and they literally scrape some of the picture off, paint on it, and that, that becomes the new negative. And so uh, this is all just to show you that they definitely 100% could and were manipulating photos back in the 1800s. Absolutely. Absolutely. I believe and Douglas is mirroring this stream, correct, Douglas? Um, this is a wonderful example. Cool. This is a postcard that was done by the Detroit Photographic Company. Now, this looks like a picture of a little girl, little little uh, Chinese girl. Wonderful little picture, but... Oh, nice. That's where it came from. That's Photo Manipulation 101. Yeah. Undeniable. Okay, we have right here, they have painted this negative right here across the top with white paint. Um, they have uh, done something yeah. here. It's it's yeah. really kind of just, they've vanilla skied this part here. Yeah, gone around it badly. Yep. And the point to all this is, is, is why? What were they blanking out? What, the clouds? They didn't like the clouds in the sky? I mean, you know, this I, is... I don't... I, you know, I'm not I'm not speculating on why because I don't know. I wasn't yeah, there. This is the thing, and, and we've never said why. We've all we've ever done is speculated why they would do it and say that they are doing it. Um, you know, right. we've we speculated. You know, were they airships? Were there other buildings? But but we don't know because we don't have any of the the pre altered photos. Now this photo is a photo that uh, the the kind of infamous photo that John Levy was looking at, um, and I proved that this was Vanilla Sky. Um, it was confusing because we could not figure. We thought that we this was being labeled as the uh, Coke ovens, Utah Coke ovens, and um, I, they were supposed to have mountains right here, but they didn't. But what I realized is it's Vanilla Sky, and you can see the evidence of it right here. It's a straight line right here where they, they were scraping it and stopped. And the reason that they stopped is that the photo that they used was was cropped. And they didn't need to do that part. But all this is vanilla skied. And what they do is they scrape the negative with a knife. It's a glass plate negative and they scrape it. Now, this one's interesting. Um, got a lot going on here. And you got to get in close to these things to see it. It's very complicated. I'm not even exactly sure what they're doing. This, I think, is a um, this is construction of the North Middle Tower and Dome of the Varied Industries Building. This is one of the World's Fairs photos. Now, I don't really, I, I really can't explain this one. This one is is very strange. I, I don't know the answer because it's a technique I haven't seen um, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at that rope that they're looks like they're suspending something down from those ropes that's weird yeah yeah it's I a mean, very strange they, picture what are they covering up it's just that bit where the dome is isn't it that they've that they've blanked out so it's what are they actually lowering into that dome right. that we're not allowed they're, to look at they're also doing it right here it's oh, a very yeah. strange technique it's it's one i haven't run across again um i don't really have the answers for this one it, it, it's obviously been vanilla skied, but there's mm. something else going on too. See, this is the darkness here is the, the non vanilla vanilla. Uh, the, this is the yeah, glass plate, negative, whatever yeah. was there. It was overexposed, I think, but I don't know. Um, this yeah. one is a uh, disaster, um, a tornado that happened in Georgia and they have painted the street here. And um, I've got a, better okay that you can see the paint here and here you can see it a little bit better there now this is an interesting little photo with the the paint in the background and they've uh, painted this circle behind her 
um, and some paint over here. Not exactly sure what they're trying to accomplish there. You can obviously clearly see the paint. They've even, looks like they're piecing it together as well. Um, you can see different pieces of paper here. I don't know. It's a very strange photo. That's weird. It's very <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, this one, uh, it, you can't see it in this photo, but when I get into the high res, um, you can see the painting right here and here and here. And um, right here on the lines that they've darkened the lines with paint. You can see it a little bit better there and there and there and there and right there. Okay, this one has been vanilla skied and you can see in the image of the, the tree here, you can see where they messed up the vanilla sky. This is proof positive. This is unquestionable. And you can see they didn't do a good job on the building, on the awning right there. This is a really poor quality vanilla sky job. Very, very poor quality, but it's there. This is vanilla sky people. This, what, what the flip flop nation told you is not how vanilla sky was done. You see that there's a, a, a fence there and it has been vanilla skied into the fence. <laughs> Whoever did this botched it. Yeah, this was a student's job or something, but yeah. But clearly, I mean, it's, it's proof that someone's had the negative and they've gone around with some kind of tool, pencil, whatever it is, and they've literally by hand traced around, you know, what they want to keep and what they want to take out. Exactly. This is the Louisiana Purchase Exposition uh, construction photos. These have been, been manipulated. This is proof positive of construction photos that have been manipulated unquestionably. Oh, but I didn't think they existed, Biggs. Oh, of course they exist. I have them. I've done many videos on it. How is it unreal? Come on. Uh, this one's been vanilla skies. You can see the original negative over here on the left and the vanilla sky has been done here and they've cut off the pole here. And they did a bad job on the pole right there. Am I going slow enough? Yeah, mate, you're doing well. Everyone's um, Everyone right here, cool. this was a little tough to see, but there are a bunch of electrical lines right here going uh, diagonally. Oh, yeah, and nice. they have vanilla skied them out for the most part, but you can still see the lines because they didn't do a great job. But they, they, you know, sometimes they maybe they were in the process of working on these things um, and then stopped. Here, mm. this this one's really cool. This one has been vanilla skied and painted, and uh, you can see these X marks, which is where they want to take it out. Now, this is not high res. Um, some of these pictures I have to download in in segments because I can't download the high res. So what I do is I I, I get the main picture and then I do a close up, and you can see the painting on the uh, picture, right there, right there, right there. Right here, right here, all across here. Um, there's some there. There's some right here, here, here. And there's some right there and over here. And then you can see they have painted right here with the architectural urns, the finials. Uh, right here, paint, 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 more paint. This is a painted photo manipulation, 100% proof. This is undeniable. Absolutely undeniable. I'm not play bigging. I told you I was. I'm not playing with you. Okay, <laughs> this one. Uh, this is the overall picture. When you get close up to it, you can see the paint right here, here, here. Okay. Oh, I had a double there. Okay, here's one where they were in the process of vanilla skying, and what they did was they painted this one. This was another technique of vanilla skying. This is vanilla sky, y'all. It is not a chemical process. 
Mm -hmm. It is a manipulation. Here's a manipulated photo where they took the man's head off. And this is really simple to do in the dark room. What, what they can do is they can cut this out of the original um, negative. Uh, they, they'll take a picture of the negative and then they'll cut that picture out and make a neg another negative and they'll place it on top of another negative and then take another picture. It's a very simple uh, darkroom technique. This photo has been uh, painted. Uh, you see that the streaks of the water have been painted right here. This building is a uh, has been painted. Uh, it's a photograph, and they have painted it. Um, this uh, this was a crazy one. Uh, it's been vanilla skyed, and then they have done a a ton of additional paint to this photograph. It is it is wild. I don't know what in the world they're trying to show. This is a close-up of that paint. Clear as day. Photo manipulation. No doubt. Unquestionable. Here it is again. You can see close up. Obviously been painted. This is a photograph. This is being painted on a glass plate negative. This, this is a thing. Okay. Uh, this one is uh, been vanilla skyed, and they didn't do a very good job of it. You can clearly see that the vanilla sky is right here that has not been finished. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, that's vanilla sky, y'all. Oh, this is the good one. You're going to love this. Okay, it's been vanilla skyed, and it's got all kinds of shit going on. Let's see. Let's get in there. Painted people. Real people. Painted people. Painted cars with people. Painted people. More painted people. Painted on the roads. Painted trolleys. Painted little fella. The original NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They have uh, painted the, the signage here, it looks like. Um, they've painted the, the name German National Bank on there. There's a little bit closer that, you know, that stuff always gets me because it's clearly in the architecture that it's going to show the title and name of the building. And when they do this type of stuff, I've seen them have actual like banners in, um, Oh, where was it? It was in Africa. I think it might've been Johannesburg, uh, South Africa. They had a banner over top so they build this wonderfully robust architectural building but they don't know what it's for and they have to put up a banner to say what it is <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy but see this is the overall picture and if you look at it from a distance it looks pretty normal crazy huh let's see what else we can get into okay um this one's pretty interesting um it, it's a construction photo but then in the background they've scratched out names on the windows here for some reason uh this one uh they were in the process of vanilla skying it over on the sides and the top here you can see the difference between the vanilla sky and the normal glass plate negative backing right there and I've got some close-up high-res right here where you can see it a little better. All right. Unquestionable. Uh, right here, they did uh, something strange that they've, they've in the bottom here on the where the road would be. Uh, the road's actually a little further. That's pavement light in case you're never seeing that. Um, and, but that they have done some manipulation right here. Maybe paint, not exactly sure what they did there, but it's a little weird. Um, okay, I had a double there. Okay, this one um, they took out right here, these uh, vent caps, and they scratched them out of the negative to make it look a little better, I'm assuming. Uh, here's a photo manipulation picture. Uh, this one has where you have real people in the background, but then this fellow right here is a little bit interesting. Uh, okay. He, he's been painted. I think this guy's been painted too, but these guys are, you know, that's real photo. So I'm not sure what they're doing there. 
Um, right here has been vanilla scud, and you can see the lines where they have been um, scratched off. And then you can see clearly that the lines are right here and have been vanilla scud. Unquestionably, this is that is one hundred percent unquestionably vanilla sky and shows the editing of it. Wow, exactly, exactly. So uh, this... one of the theories has been that there were dirigibles in the sky that they wanted to hide, and I think there may be something to that. It's a possibility. Um, I'm open to it. My only thing is that I can't prove it. So until I find um, like a negative that has a half scratched out airship, you know, you know, I can't really say that's what it is, but all I can do is prove that it happened. And you know what? That's a start. I'll take it. Um, this is in uh, Utah, Salt Lake City, and they have um, painted in these cars. It, this one's kind of hard to see about what they did. But uh, those cars are painted in. Um, here's a, uh, they vanilla skied this. Um, and they've kind of made it a little choppy there. Here's another vanilla sky where they've taken out the, the right back here. And I think they might have painted this one some too, but I'm not positive. Um, but this has been vanilla skied. This was a, a series, and I believe that these might have been from uh, a series of uh, pictures I found from Coney Island, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this was an interesting picture. Um, you might want to take note of this when you have a house and a building and a bigger building, but in between, in between is a little weird. Does anybody see anything there that's interesting? And it's been vanilla skied to me. And this is just an opinion and opinions like tail holes. Everybody's got one, but to me, it kind of reminds me of mud flooded buildings where you have the mud here and in between the buildings. And it's, you know, you imagine that this is, uh, you know, above ground there. Just a thought. Here's been vanilla skied. This is another vanilla sky. These ones aren't the best. Uh, here's a, uh, a uh, uh, one of the uh, World's Fair pictures, and they have done some sort of manipulation here. I think that this is paint, but I'm not absolutely positive what they did there. It could be scratching, but to me it looks more like paint has been added to the sky. So it was probably vanilla sky and then painted uh, would be my best guess. Um, here we go. Uh, Vanilla Sky. This is a botched job. You can see they didn't do a very good job of this one right here. Going up there, they've cut off some of the antenna. Oh, I'm sorry, flagpole. <laughs> 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 and they've done it right here. This is a, not a very good quality Vanilla Sky job. It's interesting because a lot of the photos we get, you know, the older photos are small, aren't they? You, you don't normally get them in, you know, sort of. Um, a big format, which means that you don't see all this detail, do you? You don't see the bad cuts. Exactly. You, you have to go to the highest rev look for the highest uh, resolution you can. Um, I look for TIFF, TIFF files um, in uh, the digital archives. Um, that's where you get the really good high quality, um, high resolution stuff. You can see there's a, this one's kind of interesting. They got something hidden back here. Look, look what's hiding back there that they've, Vanilla sky yeah, out. Like cathedral or something. Wow. Yeah, something. Big yeah. Thank you to uh, Clement Barraza, Barraza for your kind donation. Thank you very much. Okay. Here's a photo oh. manipulation um, just to show you what they can do. Uh, this one has been painted. Uh -huh. You can see the gentleman right here on the right hand side has been painted in. Yeah. This is a uh, World's Fair photo. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, at the edge of that. Okay, right here, they have taken out street lamps on the right-hand side of the screen. I hope you can see that. 
right there. They've taken there's a there's a street light right here, but there's one right here that they've taken out, and then one right here they've taken out. Um, so that's uh. So what would the purpose of out? taking a street lamp out be? That's just I don't know. I don't know. I don't I know. It just doesn't matter. I don't know. This picture um has been painted. Uh, it's got this nice looking <laughs> handsome gentleman right here. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. Oh, let me see. Had some LSD, man. Yeah, this is uh, Coney mm -hmm. Island, and um, for some reason they have done this oddness here. I don't, I can't explain it. I've got a little bit higher res right Maybe here. That might be like you know that picture you showed us of the Indian girl. That might have been so they could cut that front bit out and put it as a separate yeah. Front. It, it probably had something to do. You see the the crop marks here. I would say that they, that they were cropping this photo and taking another photo like this to make a photo or something and maybe the yeah. red wouldn't show up in the photograph or something like that i don't know that's a, a question for a photographer uh here is a botched job on a vanilla sky this is how vanilla sky is done not a chemical process 100 percent proved sorry it's over it's just over Mm. Here is a um, this is a photograph that has been painted, and you got these guys bringing in boxes. This is a library. They've painted the truck there, and you can get in here. They've uh, added paint to the to bring out, and they've painted the boxes. You can see that they've added the paint to the gentleman there. There's mm. a little bit closer in, and you can see the paint clearly. More paint. Paint, paint, more paint. This is photo manipulation. It is. And clearly this is, you know, this would be to accentuate, you know, the picture. You know, they're trying to make it more, you know, defined. But Exactly, um, exactly, exactly. The bigger, you know, the bigger question is that, that we're showing, the reason we're showing all this is could they manipulate photos and did they? And the answer is yes. And, and we've shown what in many, many ways. And the question is, you know why, especially with the vanilla skies. What are the, why? What's the point? This is one of my favorite photos of all times um, that shows uh, photo manipulation. This thing is wild. When you get into it, okay, everything seems pretty normal. Um, they've got a little bit of paint up here in the clouds. Okay. But when you get back here, they've painted the side here. They've painted part of the building here. They have painted down the side. They've painted on there. They've added people. What? They have painted right here. They have painted the road. They have painted people in. They have painted the bridge. They have painted the road. They have painted in cars. They have painted in more cars right here. They have painted in a person here. All of this is painted. And then this is wonderful. Look look right here. You see the paint. This is the photograph, but this is the paint. Yeah. That is 100% unquestionable photo manipulation, 100% undebatable. Wow. Uh, this one right here is interesting. Uh, take a look, real good look around um, at what they got going here. And then they just add some people in. False flags, too. <laughs> <laughs> they have those uh, almost like electrical, the dual towers you see a lot of. And they just plop in those silly flags. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And hello, John Levi, if that's you. Oh, and thank you very much, Streets of Tartaria. Love your work. And, of course, Streets of Tartaria, one of the I biggest do. supporters of this, um, of our little niche in the internet. So thank you Absolutely. for all your support to all channels. And, of course, if you haven't subscribed, go across, subscribe to Streets of Tartaria, everyone. And John Levi. So I hope you can see that that picture was manipulated. Uh, this one, they they did some real faint, almost like drawing lines on this one. Oh, is that an airship? Is that being painted in that airship? 
Um, I don't know. I I don't know. It's too, it's it's not. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't it's really. really make a what is it, it could be in the photograph it because you look right a, here, and then you look right one. here. It looks pretty. Um, they look kind of the same. Like like mm -hmm. this is the. This is a photograph. We know this is there. This was this was definitely a ride there, but uh, that right there kind of gives me the same you know look as that. But I don't know. You can see they've added some lines here. Uh, let me see if this is any clear. No, it's not much clear. But you can see they've added more lines right there, and over here they've added. Uh, they've done some drawing. Twenty three. Um, this one right here, um, they've uh, it's a photograph, and they have added in paint in the background here. Um, okay, that was the only one I had of that, but they've also painted in up here. That's paint. Um, there, uh, there, there's more paint on here than I can show you because of the resolution, but that there's that is a lot of paint on there. Uh, this one has been vanilla skies. You can tell they've chopped off buildings here, right there. Um, right here, they've cut out a line. Um, they've right here. You can see the vanilla sky wasn't finished, and you can see the glass plate negative back here. One hundred percent vanilla sky. This has uh, been uh, vanilla sky right here, um, and they've. Looks like they've added paint around it to Vanilla Sky. Uh, this one. Okay. I was wondering if it was the space or the no space burn. So thanks for that. So <laughs> hello to um, John Levi um, Klein, um, <laughs> whatever you are, John Levi the second. Um, right here we have. Uh, they they I know for a fact uh, we found this uh, JJ uh, my co-host found this on my show um there were buildings behind this structure here um so we know there is structure behind this photograph but there this has obviously been painted and vanilla skied uh this one's interesting because everything looks normal okay until you get in and they have painted the interior right here and then um there is also some paint right here it's hard to see but it's there yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this one right here is an old photograph that it's literally labeled a uh, reproduction of heavily retouched photograph of a horse drawn fire pump. And what they did was they took a, this photograph, this glass plate negative, and painted the shit out of it. So what you're looking at is a photograph that has been painted over. So that's some kind of high weirdness there. Um, this one right here, um, about the most interesting thing I think I found in this one is the sign right here. If you go back, you it's right here. And they have added, um, they've like darkened it up. Okay, this is the interesting one. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this picture. And I'll just get in there. There's painting on the shoes there. They've put paint there. They've added paint here and here. They added uh, paint right there and right there. And all on this wall, uh, they've painted in the road, road in there and added lines there. Um, some there, some there, there, there. Okay, they've painted that. They've added paint over here. Okay, there's the shoes again. Uh, they painted the dude's tie, the stairs, the on, that wall, the on his hat. What? Um, okay, this one, uh, th what they've done is uh, th they've painted right here, 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 and this line up here. They've darkened up these areas right here and right here, and I've got a little bit closer oh in. You can see the paint. A little bit better. Okay, and there you can see right there. Okay, this one right here, um, there's a, a lot of weirdness in it. Um, and I get closer up into it, and you can see the, like the additions 
um, of lines um, for the boat. They've added like this stuff to the sail here. Um, that's a photo. Yeah, right. Yeah, they've added, uh, they've done something here to this flag. Um, they've added paint right here, here, and here. Um, right wow. here, okay. here, here, so, here, 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 here. It's like it could be an old boat that was a bit smashed up and they're trying to make it look like it wasn't. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. They, they just add these little bits of paint. Um, and and I, you know, I don't, I'm not saying it's a big deal, I'm just saying no, that it's there. They're doing it, yeah, yeah. They're doing it. Okay. There's a lot going yeah, on a here. Of it, a lot of it's clearly for aesthetics, you know, so so that the photo looks better. Right. Yeah. That little like girl right here, girl, girl, that she just got her head scribbled out. <laughs> that's all right here. These guys right here are, are these guys. And this is the closer up. And you can see they've painted it. They've added paint here and here. And um, over here, they've added paint. Uh, they've added line of paint there and there. Um, they've added paint there. There's another line of paint right there and there. There's paint. Uh -huh. They painted this, this. More paint there, more paint there. Uh, right here, they've taken out uh, some of these uh, vents right uh -huh. here in the background Big, of this yeah, photo. Maybe that was something coming out of the top of those towers that they blacked out and whited out. Let's see. I gotta figure out. Oh, this one's like weird. It. They did this to this lady right here. If you notice, they added some paint to her right here. This mm. is from Australia. This is your your That's your country. Australia. There. Yeah, this what? is Australia. What? what? What is that? I think this is uh this is Sydney, Sydney, Australia. Sydney. Oh Bridge God. Street that from that Government is... House Gate. Oh, okay. Looking okay. Wow. So Look at the height of the bollard. See those bollards? Look how short they are. See in the ground in I front mean, of the gate. You know, those this is a weird things. photo. I don't know. That this lady, she kind of almost looks like she's uh added. I don't, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird one, isn't it? Uh, this uh, one's kind of strange. Bad. You see, I've seen a couple. You've shown a couple like this where it's around the top of these buyers' buildings that that they've. You know, is that to? Because we've all seen that video, right? Of um, is it Bangladesh where you can see the energy going around the top of the spire? That looks like yeah. that. That's what they're trying to hide yeah. there, doesn't it? Could it? Be a, a, you know anomaly, like an energy anomaly. That, I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but it's got some weirdness to it. Wow, um, man. So it's this one I'm kind of putting in the iffy category, uh, but that but look at the top there, there, something man. has happened here. Yeah, look at all that metal and stuff. Wow. Yeah, so that one's kind of iffy. Now this one's kind of weird right here. Everything looks normal. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean the ship okay. looks interesting, but yeah, it does. Okay, now let me get closer in. Oh. You see oh. that? Yeah. That it's bottom and that top bottom. don't go together. Oh, oh, they've, oh, they've done the whole bottom. Okay, I see what you mean. It's two pictures. That's the ocean, yeah, right, cropped underneath the top of, okay. I think they used a lot of models and like dioramas and this could be an example of that well yeah that would kind of make sense here's another thing they've scratched out this name right here cariola and Maybe then they added a... this name oh this could have been the original name of because it may have been an actual photo of a boat and then they've put their yeah. whatever at the top there Looks like maybe something right there, but that's a weird one. This one I don't even know how to explain. It, it it's I don't know. It's something about Sydney. Um, you can see this writing right here. Maybe yeah. you can explain it more. Cosi uh, Kosciuszko is a mountain in Mount Kosciuszko. So he what the hell? <laughs> 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 what? That's not a human. Um, so I'd say that's a dude standing up. 
in Mount Kosciuszko when it's snowing. It, but yeah, it's the, a photograph. It, it's it's the, this is a dude, but they've painted his face and they painted back time. here. And I don't even know what they're trying to say with this picture. It's very strange. No. This one right here, um, they yeah. added uh, paint down here on the people to darken them up. And we see a lot of that. We've seen oh. that done with uh, the video as well. The um, This is a uh, merchant tailors building waterfront world Columbian exposition. Does anybody see anything weird in this picture? Yeah, yeah. You're showing pictures of, of the world expositions and clearly none of those are alter altered. That's very weird. Sure about that? <laughs> That's what I've been told. <laughs> Show me in light. Oh, oh, okay. That statue is not a statue. So, it's not even a good drawing of the statue. What, what? This one right here, um, they vanilla skyed it and they added painted people right here. And this is uh, one of those uh, out of a book pictures. But uh, they have added in the uh, whole sidewalk and the street and the people and the uh, street lamps. Uh, here is a, a, a train wreck, and they have um, vanilla scot it with paint. And you can see clearly they've uh, taken out the uh, tracks up here and painted them out for some reason. Uh, this one's kind of weird. Uh, you've got this... Uh, line that they've scratched out going up to go into this thing which i don't know what it is they've completely taken it out and they've done some scratching here um i think that's a sign that says obey <laughs> this is a very strange picture i don't have an explanation for that one this someone's one they just, painted. Um, someone's just asked what the vanilla sky is so a vanilla sky is basically uh, when they blank out the whole background of the photo and they just white it out. Um, no doubt. We'll, we'll let you know when one comes up, but it won't be um, long. Just take out the whole background of the photo, basically, and, and we're, we're not sure they've been doing it. This, this is sort of the question. Here they've run the paint over the uh, the gun, the turret gun here, um, but this has got painting in the background. It's kind of hard to see on this one, but it's there. Um, there might be more paint, not a very good uh, image. Let's see. Uh, this one's been vanilla skied. Um, now I've got to go to high res to see what they did. Okay, <laughs> the person is right here, just so you know, and they have scratched the person out. Ah, how tall is that per wonder? Um, I don't know. I mean, they're, I don't know. They kind of, might be kind of short. It's hard to tell. It depends on how big I these doors are. Yeah, I don't have perspective, but it'd be interesting to know. This is where they uh, uh, added this lady to, uh, they took a picture of her and then added her to this picture. So the background is, is one picture and the foreground, this lady is a different picture. Oh, it's Same completely. here. She's yeah, not yeah. on the steel. This is a fake photo. Yeah. So clearly they can take things away. They can add things. They can, you know, accentuate different things. Yep. They added paint right there. Um, they added a little bit of paint on the top of her hat right there and a line right there. I know it's not much, but it's there. There, yeah. uh, this one's a very strange one. We went back and forth talking about this one. It's been vanilla skied, obviously. They did a good job of it, except look very closely at those lights in the middle. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, yep, you can see it. Now, I don't yeah. know what is going on there. They just didn't, couldn't be bothered going around. What, <laughs> is that a show or is that a second light? Second light, mate. But yeah, they just didn't go around it. This one we went back and forth on. We talked about this one for a long time, and we never really did come to a conclusion. Um, what Which is the weird thing. We just don't know why they're doing it. it just you know. Then, what, you know wait, let me sorry. weigh in on that. Can you show that yeah. again? There you go. I want to see that because to me this looks like okay. If you imagine this being a diorama or something, and it's being taken in a studio or whatever. It would be showing like that against the background that they have to wipe out. You know what I mean? Like if it's just a facade, 
Well, it does. Yeah, it looks a bit like a like a shadow as well, doesn't it? We've got yeah, it. We've got the light set up, and they it's just kind yeah, kind of like a wall. shadow from like a flash or something when it's mm. just against the wall because they just took it and they're cropping it in, or they're you know they they took it in some kind of a studio from a model or something, and they're just kind of placing it in there because it fits the timeline or whatever the case. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good. It's a point. strange one. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it's it's it definitely looks like a shadow when you when you get right up on it, doesn't it? it Look like it's a shadow of the light, and how, how, you know if that's a shadow, what what's the shadow? What the background of the sky? Yeah, I mean, did did they try? Did they vanilla sky this line like around on each side? I mean, that'd be really hard. It would be. <laughs> it's a weird one. It's a very we went back and forth on that picture a lot. Now this one is very interesting. It everything looks pretty normal. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay, let's get into it. They've painted the background. I don't know if you can see that, but that is white paint. They've added paint right here. They've added paint across the top of the building here. They've added, uh, there's lines that are going across here that they have painted. Uh, you can see the paint right here, 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 so here, go here, back here. Go there again. Go here, across here. to the right, that edge of that building. I'll there. get there. I'll get there. I'll so I, get see there. That effect, I see that effect a lot, like where it's yeah. like a little bubbled line around. You've got you paint around there. Buttons. Like, there, what is that? There. Um, you've, let's see. I'm making sure I get all the little points in this picture. This picture is very strange. They've added paint to this car, to this man, to these trees. They painted that tree real good. But if you look very closely and follow this line right here, watch that line. Watch the line. Just keep watching the line. Ah, uh, really? Interesting. Very interesting. They've added that building. That is 100%. So, so that's the line. So, so that's when they add things, that, that sort of effect. Because I see, I see that a lot. I'm just thinking, what is that? Is that like heat coming off the building or something? Or, wow. So they're, what? Adding buildings. They're adding buildings. That is 100% proof of photo manipulation. And, and adding stuff. Yeah, you can see. Undeniable. See. Undeniable. Wow. They've painted right here. Undeniable. All right. I dare anybody to deny that that is photo manipulation. I yeah. triple double dog bear them. Well, don't do that. You know, it's going to be another video tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> This has been uh, painted. Uh, they've, they've, I've got closer up shots. Um, the horse has been painted for sure. Um, that's about as close as I can get mm -hmm. to that one. They've, they've done some painting on that one. This is uh, the viaducts being constructed in Atlanta, Georgia. And when I was looking at them recently, I realized that they painted this right here. What? And I'm wondering if they might have done some paint here, but I'm not sure. But this is painted. And I have suspicions about this. Oh, look at that shape of the front of that building with that, that kind of yeah. peacock feather thing. You see that a lot, don't you? Uh, this so, has been uh, painted. I mean, to, to add buildings in, I mean, you know, like what's the motivation for that? Is it because they're trying to match the pictures to the narrative like because because it doesn't match up that they're adding stuff because people are like well this is a picture of here and this building should have been here like i mean well, i don't know you know I, I don't it's, know. it's, it's speculation <laughs> i mean i don't know it, it i can prove that they did it I, I can't prove how they why they did it this is a very matter of fact this picture was so interesting that conspiracy or us showed it on his show this has been vanilla skied but not just vanilla sky. Um, you can see they didn't do a very good job of the vanilla sky and they cut up the building. Okay. And mm. you can see it's jaggy on the vanilla sky, but that's not even what's interesting about this image. It's not a very good job on the vanilla sky, but that's really like secondary compared to what's coming out. 
They cut off the finial. Looks like they might have even painted it a little bit there. Um, but we're not even we're not even see all the power lines going everywhere that they've blanked out. Oh yeah, like uh, that right there. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to get down here. You can see uh, uh, they've cut off the trees, but that's not even what's interesting. They've cut uh, off buildings right here in half. Now, what? do you see anything else in that picture that should be there? There's something very interesting. The, the pole is missing on that guy right there. That's that's missing, but that ain't it either. This is from. I'll give you a clue. This is from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, is, is it two photos again? Is it because the, the side is a lot darker where nope. that dude is? Is it? No. Nope. Nah? You ever heard oh. of a moon tower? A moon tower. Yep, there's a moon tower in this photograph. Can you find oh, it? Oh, is this the? Oh, this is the one you told me about. Yeah, no, no, I haven't seen this one. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. They've scratched it out. That's a moon tower. And that's the side of the building, yeah. There's a moon tower in that photograph they have scratched out. Okay. Wow. So that's what is a moon tower? It's a, it a light moon? system. They they put these uh, big arc lights up there and it would light up the whole area. They were very bright. They matter of fact, these are located in Austin, Texas now. They Austin, Texas, the city of Austin bought them. So there's so there still are some examples around. Yes. Matter of fact, in the movie from Oh, uh, what's that movie? Uh, um, there's a movie that they have them in it. Uh, there, um, the one with about the seventies movie. Uh, um, gosh, I can't remember the name of the movie right now. You can see the Vanilla Sky right there. Uh, but they show it in a movie. Um, you can see they did a jaggy uh, Vanilla Sky right there. Yeah, real right. jaggy. Whoever did this one didn't do it as well as they should have. No. All right, so should we have a chat about these vanilla skies and what we all think about it? I mean, that's about an hour of uh, yeah, a, a hour of vanilla sky. Now we'll get into <laughs> so if you, don't, you understand what we're talking about, guys? Then we can't help you. <laughs> you get it. This all one right. they've taken out the trolley lines right here. You can see the lines clearly right here, and they've been. Jeez, those out. are contrails from the 1800s. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this one they uh, took out here, and then it's right there in front of the pole, and then it comes back. That's just strange. So, I mean, well, that, that's you know, I mean, that's something that we would kind of expect without without questioning is taking out trolley lines, right? Because I would do that in in a city that they're trying to tell you never had trolleys or trams as. They're supposed to be this cold. one's hard to see you really can't tell that it's been vanilla sky now it had this one i think they did some kind of manipulation to or something because they you can clearly see it was vanilla sky right here yeah but then if you get up here i don't know if you can see but that there's clouds right here it may have been so what's happening there they painted those in and this is you know clearly different than the video we showed at the start where they literally just took out the building and put in a whole background. These photos, are, they're painted, you know, they're like it's done badly by hand. It's just weird. Well, one of the things I do when I look at it is I look at the horizon. So on this one, it may be the case where if you look on the left side, where is the horizon and you follow it across, of course, there can be undulations and hills and things like that. But in some cases, they clearly Miller skied out enough of it that it makes it almost impossible that the horizon isn't nearly rising up to the level it should. I don't know the terrain, maybe it could be explained by the local terrain, but oftentimes when you see obvious manipulations, uh, you can tell yeah. that it's gone yeah. like that kind yeah. of manipulation. Can you see that um, right there, that crane? There's a crane in that photo. <laughs> Can you zoom in? Yeah. More? Can you see I, that? I see it. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's been that's been uh, is, scratched. Is that a ladder? Was that a ladder off the side of that building too? A what? 
a ladder. Yeah. Right, right in the corner there. Yeah, yeah, right. So there's the old ladder <laughs> lane. <laughs> yeah, the way yeah. there. You're here, <laughs> Doug. Yeah. The ladder had to come. <laughs> yep. Guaranteed. Uh, uh, this one, you can tell that they scratched out the uh, vanilla scada building out right here. Um, but this a is a lot of them. Sky. It looks like they're also taking out the uh antennas that were up there, the quote unquote flag poles with no flag. Oh, this one's a beauty. Oh, this is a good one. This one's got um, what they did was they uh added in right down here. This is all painted, and they painted half the people here, and and it's picture here and painted here. Oh yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Same right there. So is that so? That's that line is is a cut line. It looks like the power line, but it's like a that thin black line. Can you see the paint mark, the paint strokes right there? Yeah, and you got all these people are painted. What? painted they've painted right here and then painted the other side right in. and it's a real photo it's a it's a glass plate negative it's a real photo that's you know and they have manipulated it a lot <laughs> hmm and the question is why okay this one um this one's weird um <laughs> if you look at right here, it's been in vanilla sky, but it's like they cut off the top of the building. And you can see some of the building right there. And it looks very strange right here. It doesn't look normal. You can see they vanilla sky around the that. You can see where they vanilla where they scratched out the trolley lines over the obelisk here. And they've got vanilla sky a little bit still left on there, right there. So um, clearly, in, in at least some of these photos, they're getting rid of tech, right? Power yeah. lines and lights and things. And you right see that the antenna, right power lines, all of that. And then, like this photo, where it shows a little bit of the cloud, and then it shows the sections that are vanilla sky. I think that's a really good example at the top of the tower there. Yeah, you see that pole right there? It's been cut mm -hmm. off. Be short. And you can see it's been vanilla. Yeah, see the sky. cloud there, the cutoff and whatnot in between. There's a line right here that got cut out. It looks like bricks when you, oh that's that roof. Okay, yeah. But okay. what's up? What's hanging from the pole? <laughs> the the smaller pole behind it. It was there's nothing hanging off of it. Oh yeah, I don't know. It, it's like the electrical wires are just hanging out oh. of it. Yeah, right. Very, very nice. I don't know. <laughs> Um, this has been vanilla sky, obviously. You can see the jagginess on the trees. They didn't get all the way in there. Right there. And you can see they cut off some of the building right here and here. Very That's bad job like on vanilla there. sky. Yeah, like they they God. But they people think they could all these there. buildings, they weren't very good at manipulating photos, God. Yeah, you can see a line there missing. Yeah, look at part of the sky with the rod up, and then it's cut yeah. out. It's... They've cut. Look, that you see the ball finial right here, and they've cut it out right here. Off, yeah. And they did it right here too. They cut that one off too. This this is vanilla sky, y'all. There's no. This is undebatable, undeniable. It is not a chemical process. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, uh, this is that same photo, I believe. Yeah, okay. But I mean, hmm. okay. I had that one twice. Okay, now I've got um. Oh, let me. Uh, okay, now this is um a set of uh, images that were taken um on Fifth Avenue in New York City, and they are heavily, heavily manipulated. And they have added uh, cars, they have added horses, they have added painted, they have added streets and lamp posts and sidewalks. They have done all kinds of crazy stuff. I did an entire video on this. You can find it on my channel. They have uh, cut and pasted Daddy, things. Sorry. Thank you, and Daddy, it, Daddy. 
It's what? Go I ahead. said thank you, Big Daddy Bergman, for your kind donations. And yeah, uh, make sure you go check out Stuffed Beagle channel. Um, lots of good good research there. As well so, as yeah, UAP. As well as UAP, of course. And Burn Eye, Mind's Eye, Third Eye, Science Guy Without the Bow Tie, or something like I don't even know what your channels are anymore. You just keep losing them too quickly for me to keep, keep up. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> And I'm I TikTok. Really... Even TikTok deleted me. Even TikTok, I know, right? I'm a I'm a TikTok star, man. I've got like two and a half thousand followers. I, I'm ticked at the talk. Wait till I start twerking, mate. I I didn't know you dance. Oh. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I this heard car that. right here has been yeah, cut and yeah. cut paste <laughs> into the photograph. Oh, if you go. can see <laughs> that, that's a cut paste job right there. It's a real photograph <laughs> on top of a real photograph. And that's been cut and pasted into that picture. It's true. But something that is definitely not not photo manipulated is this. <laughs> Clearly my ass. <laughs> I think these uh, cars might have been added in um, because you can see the lines right here. Um, right there, you can see the cut paste lines. A uh, painted lady. That's a painted car. That is too. There it is. All three of those cars. Four. All four of those cars are painted. That person's painted. The sidewalks painted. The roads painted. And we we have to acknowledge there may be perfectly legitimate or explainable reasons Absolutely. why they would do that to to make the city seem more modern or to yeah. just clean it up or different things like that, but absolutely the extent absolutely. that it's done and the fact that it's not very well documented or explained makes the questions worthwhile to ask, I think. Exactly. I, agree. I think the biggest I agree. question is why are these being put up as historical photos if they've been altered? Right. Just like the modern news. <laughs> I think this man has been <laughs> copy pasted into the photograph. This is that, a painted lady. He definitely was copy pasted. He, or or that cop had just the most outstanding aura around him ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's just a light being, dude. Come on. Um, so, you know, some of these photos had more than others. Um, some of them are absolutely ridiculous, as you'll see. Uh, there's, there's one of these in here just about damn near stopped my show because everybody went crazy when I showed it. We, we go back again there. We keep seeing these miniatures. If you go back inside the store window, there are little buildings. It's like dioramas. Oh What's yeah, nice about? spot in the in the right hand corner there, Beggs. The right hand. Yeah, window, if you zoom in, yeah. are they towers or are they cans? It, it could just be a display. Well, I thought maybe it was were cans, but I, I know what you're talking about. Doug. I've seen that as well. Now it, it looks like clock towers, but I come across a lot with the world's fairs. I see that they have these huge rooms with dioramas yeah. of other yeah. parts of the world. Why would they do that? It's like well. You need yeah. the people can see this is what it looks like in this part of the world or that part of the world. Also, they That's would reenact good. naval battles and things, so they have all these like warships and, and things like that that mm. would be uh, used maybe for news or whatever. Who knows? Well, I've got pics of like mini cathedrals almost in, in the world's fairs, you know, and it's almost I, like they're, yeah. they're a halfway between a cathedral and a monstrance. You know, the monstrances are like yeah. the handheld, they look like cathedrals, but these are like, yeah, sort of big sort of dioramas that are sort of 10 foot tall. You know, I don't know why, but this on the right hand side, this whole area here looks very suspect to me. Does that look weird to y'all or is that yeah, just they're my painted, they're, they're painted out around the trees for sure. Yeah, look at the light. You can see it's kind of boxed off there around that light pole. It just looks kind of um, What's that way? What's behind odd. Me? I don't know. It almost looks like they've blanked out buildings behind that light, didn't it? It did. Got a painted lady there. Could have been very smoky back then, too. Painted uh, horse no, and buggy. But steampunk was steam, not smoke. There's another ladder. 
<laughs> <laughs> they do all this construction of the building, but they don't make stairs to certain floors and things like apparently like. Well, this is the thing in scaffolding, right? But you know, they had all the tech to put domes on, you know, bloody fifty foot roofs with ladders. Apparently, yeah, they always have the ladders, and so yeah. many of them in some cases. And it, yeah, it's just painted. Yeah, all by hand. Painted. The mud flooding. Painted, painted. All the sidewalks and roads are painted. And if it's on the sidewalk or road, it's probably painted. That, mm, like, and that when they're painted, painted, then what's painted out? Right. Painted. And, of course, we don't know. but That's, that's so bizarre. Just well, so I bizarre. It, I guess it's a it copy could paste. It could be fire escapes in the in a lot of cases, but it seems very haphazard. Yeah. Come down the left. All right. So what do you reckon? Should we have a talk about tunnels, maybe? Yeah, that's another major part. All the tunnels underneath. Because uh, come yeah half of what they're saying as well and I'll, I'll go into tartary last because tartaria itself it is just one portion of the world i'm not one of the ones that tries to claim that tartarian is everything no when i talk about canals in tartary it's just the areas of russia and china that i'm referring to and southeast asia but it's that we're talking and the community as a whole, I guess, has used Tartaria to describe the old world and the new world, but the old world architecture and buried buildings and buried tunnels and all of that in the new world. Instead Maybe, of, yeah, it's, a, it's a search word, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't mean that we think yeah, everything is Tartarian. It's just, yeah, it's just that was one of the first words and that's how it got known um, I, I myself call it old world most of the time but i don't get triggered when people say tartaria because clearly that's you know it's the name for the genre pretty much right and they did hide so, it they did hide the the empire yeah, yeah so we well, don't know I mean, we don't know the extent of it really this is the yeah, thing like great point like the cia note saying it and so right. one thing I associate with Tartaria, because in that CIA note, they were saying the USSR was suppressing the uh, Muslim Tartar aspect of Tartaria, uh, and that there was also the um, golden age of Arabia or golden age of Islam that I put, and El and alchemy golden age of alchemical arabia and islam that i kind of grouped that technology that antiquitech in with the tartarian term theme and research yeah and i i found that the word tartaria and it's phonetically similar to bar barbarians you know and i even found in one case they had edited out the like the t it was it was like Tataria and then Babar Babaria. It was I don't remember which way it was originally, but they switched it. Uh, I think to to read it was Tatarians, and then it was changed to to read Babar Babaria. You know, in the, in the on a map, and I think they used that term so loosely to describe basically the old world that they destroyed, and it's all reversed. So saying that they're savages and they didn't have societies or didn't have structures and things like that. It was actually the opposite. They had probably the most amazing things, but that's just yeah. one theory that would kind of fit the whole reversal sense. Yeah. Of well, rewriting we history. See on the old maps, they call Africa barbaria, right? The top of Africa. But what they tell us in history is that the barbarians, you know, these, these brutes who were stupid and just wanted to kill people, they came from the East from the other side right so they've literally just switched that, that's a really good point in the barbaria and that all that bar, the area labeled barbaria is also the moorish and it connects into a lot of uh, michelle gibson's work on the moors and that the moors are the old world that was in north america so oh, well, and, moors, and, 
Barbaria, Tartaria, it essentially is, that's how it's grouped into one giant culture. And it all connects right through that area of the Atlantic where it was the dark sea, right? They, they had no idea that a boat could go across the ocean from there. It, it's ridiculous. And uh, if you consider the possibility that Atlantis existed in that area uh, at one point where the dark sea was muddy and tumultuous and everything because there was a, an event maybe that wiped out that the islands that were there. But it would have all been an interconnected um, empire, maybe. And so yeah. they wouldn't call them barbarians. They call them savages for, you know, in the new world. But it's basically about the same thing at about the same time. And it falls right along geographic lines, pretty well interconnected, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. It's almost just like saying east and west or something, isn't it? You know. Yeah, like the the Roman Empire at the way it's presented, it, they don't talk about the Eastern Roman Empire very much at all. But <laughs> wouldn't it be about equal in size? And then we're finding out. I think a lot of you may agree that the West, the the traditional, the well known historical Roman Empire may not have even existed the way that they say it did. No, yeah, right. Really, clearly, man. They were just, I mean, uh, Roman. Good, yeah, <laughs> anything Roman, especially in North America, what they claim is Rome, it's more li likely was actually Mesopotamian, Egyptian, uh, Sumerian, and um, uh, Slavic, uh, Icelandic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The... Nordic, Nordic, the Nordic, Nordic as well. And then on the east side, the Oriental. But it, it's very evident that the world was a giant seafaring, like exchanging through the seas uh, throughout all yeah. of history. Yeah, yeah. There, was a, yeah. there was at least one big part that was traveling around, sharing all the info and stuff. Yeah, when I looked into Japan, the way it was, you know, Nippon Island was totally closed off until uh, sometime in the no, 1800s. I, 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 yeah, yeah, and and it was it wasn't that they couldn't travel; <laughs> they just weren't allowed. They would be killed, and it was mm. totally closed off artificially, much yeah. like modern days. But yeah. what I love about that story too is that oh, they closed Japan off for all this time, but then you look at the Imperial Palace and it's this giant star fort that looks like all the others, mm -hmm. and it's just like oh, okay, yeah. Look into the original yeah. samurais. Yeah, there. I mean, there was it was closed off. You can tell like there's not as much Greco-Roman architecture there, but there is Greco-Roman architecture there. In fact, the majority of all Greco architecture is outside of Greece. The majority of all Roman architecture is outside of Rome. <laughs> yep. And Indeed. it's just, yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's a, just a their way of, or a, a yeah, well, they cleaned up, you know, Rome and, and those kind of areas. And that's where they ruled from. So they just went, oh, well, everyone's just copied us. We own it all. But, I mean, that's all these right. It's just an ego trip. Yeah. And another thing that they do is they, even in modern times, they do this. It's like, well, this school of thought or this type of architecture or this type of art all came through this city, Vienna or Rome or Paris. But really, it doesn't make sense that only people who were schooled in that area would know how to do this type of building and, and such. And it doesn't even follow in, the, in their own narrative where you go through time, you have a building like the Pantheon. They know how to build it in the very same people in the very same town hundreds of years later have no idea how to do anything like that anymore it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah it is and then, and then we're taught that the whole society back then was um basically you know trades right was teaching their sons their trade so it should have been passed on quite you know it shouldn't have been lost but you know yeah no sorry it's like the viaducts yeah. right they put them all in but no one remembers it happening no one remembers their grandparents losing half their house or their business took you know because it went underground right. There's Store. You know, you, that reminds me of those, you know, you got the modern stories where they want to run a freeway through a guy's house and he's like, no, screw you. I'm keeping my house. I'm not moving. Then they build the, the highway around his house. Yeah. Where is that guy when they built the viaducts? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, everyone just bent over and went, okay. 
Yeah, that, that guy's oh, cool. Man. He's got this tiny little house. I've seen that. They just built around him. That's crazy. But um, yeah, this is the thing. Um, so I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think you know what we're saying is clearly they've been manipulating the past, which means they've been been manipulating the, the story. So we're not saying we know why or what they were doing. We're saying there's big questions there, and to just try and blanket that off as. Oh look, here's a picture that that clearly you know wasn't mini- that doesn't prove anything. You know, we're trying to say that across the board, there's so much evidence that stuff has been manipulated that you can't hyper focus on one one building, one photo, one area. You just can't. Um, you know, as we we're going to have a talk about, Canada, and you know, the, it's the same as everything else. Right? They they might you know be able to explain the Erie Canal and have photos, but. I found a canal, um, I found canals in Madagascar. I found a canal on Easter Island, a man-made canal on Easter Island. Explain that. He said, this is why hyper-focusing doesn't, doesn't explain anything. And, and the similarity, um, Campbell, if you look at the dimensions, I don't know if you did this kind of detail, but if you look at the dimensions of these canals, you can take the Erie Canal, you can take canals in Europe, take canals all over, uh, canals underground. Uh, in Washington, D.C., I think they have canals everywhere. The dimensions are almost exactly the same. And I started to look at the canal boats that fit in those canals. So many of them are still around. And you'll see it just in your local area. You will see canal boats just in the most unlikely of places because they were well built and they get repurposed as different things. But I've seen them like I, I was driving in a strange part of town, really far from any canals or whatever. And I saw a canal boat that somebody was using as like a trailer, you know, just to pull <laughs> junk or something. But it was yeah, the bottom so part of a canal yeah. boat. You know, yeah. I, was, I, I was talking earlier about how Venice, California used to be nothing but canals. And that's why they called it the Venice of the West. Yes. Mm. And it was, if you look at the history of that, there's a few canals left, but it used to be canals all through Venice. And mm. it was really cool. And you have to wonder, and if you look at the the narrative, the, the narrative stinks to high heaven. I, I don't think we built that. I think it was already there. And they, I they, haven't they, done a lot of research on it. So I'm not like the authority on canals, but I do believe that the canals are old world. I mean, where, when the hell did they build the intercoastal waterway? In America, I mean that thing is absolutely huge. Yeah, I know they yeah, say when they right. when they say they build it. Well, where's all the pictures of the from start to finish of them building this major project during World War Two? Yeah, as well as like the giant <laughs> seawall and like the canals that connect off of it along the entire eastern coast. Uh, seaboard and then you get down to florida and there's all of those quote unquote they call them roman canals just because of the age of them <laughs> but they were there before the Spanish got there because you got and rome man <laughs> um i'm just going to run to the toilet i'll be back you guys chat one yeah. minute uh, another in. thing, too, I noticed somewhere like along the Erie Canal is it looks like a few Tesla valves built into it. And it's like, OK, well, Tesla didn't wasn't even in the U.S. at that point. How the heck were they engineering these crazy designs that slow the flow of uh, the river? It might not be the Erie Canal. It might be like uh, wherever. But I think it was between Niagara, somewhere around Buffalo there. But uh, I'll have to have. Well, I've been talking to Dustin. Uh, shout out to Bushwhacking Tartaria or Bushwhacking Buffalo. He's calls himself now. Uh, great work on that. That's sure. that's interesting. So yeah, the Tesla valve. So what you mean by that is the one where it is redirecting the flow of water, and so just by momentum, it it's not a pure check valve, but it basically functions like a check valve in that it oh, only saying, allows yeah. water to flow okay. one direction easily yeah that's pretty cool yeah you you got it douglas it, it's crazy and it's like the and massive river area that it's like they don't even call that part a canal they call it a river and it's like uh no these are uh engineered banks and engineered flow with it that's just on such a grand scale 
And speaking where, of speaking of Tesla and speaking of canals with the world's fairs, they built canals for many of the world's fairs, Buffalo, of course, the Chicago one, and they didn't last, but again, it's really hard to build a canal. Uh, but in the Chicago world's fair, 1893, there's something I call Tesla boats that they had. They were electric boats that were charged. They would run for, I think, four, maybe five hours, and then they had to be charged for two hours. This is 1893. These are electric motor boats. Yeah. Um, I have a neighbor who has a boat, and and he has a, it was a, it's a Chris Craft, you know, from the 50s, uh, with a inline six cylinder engine. And there, I was talking to him about, you know, we've got Tesla cars. What about a, a, an electric boat? Because what do you want with a boat motor? You want torque. It'd be perfect, you know. And it's funny that the the technology just isn't really there yet right now. Uh, but really, the there is no secret to electric motors. They're pretty pretty straightforward. And the 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 thing people don't know about how these things are powered is. They're all powered off about the same energy cell, which is something around the size of a double A battery. It's going to be lithium ion and it's pretty close to the most efficient size. So they just have packs or banks of these things. And sometimes when you get a, like a laptop battery inside of it, it's just these little cells. It's almost always the same. And it's just a matter of having enough of those and then you charge it up. It's, it's just physics. It just works the same way. They had it in working in 1893 at the World's Fair, and then yeah, here World's we are Fair, in 2022. He had boats, uh, little remote control boats, and he used a remote control when he invented the remote control. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, forgot about that. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. I, I'm glad you brought that up, Doug, because it's like I talk about that all the time on uh, like how Tesla had his electric car, and I didn't know about those electric boats. That's even cooler, and like. Where did that technology disappear to for a hundred years? Like it's like they, and, and it wasn't just Tesla. There was a lot more of them out there at that time too. Right. Uh, yeah. And I worked in the automotive automotive industry as an engineer, and I can remember around two thousand six or, or well, we had we had a gas prices rise. Uh, Might have been around two thousand nine, and we talked about electric cars because they're starting to push for it and. It just didn't seem economically viable. It just didn't seem like it would be possible by, you know, these are pretty top engineers I was talking to about it. And it just seemed like it wasn't going to be a viable option. But just after that, Tesla came out with the cars. And it's just like all of a sudden, all the problems are solved. Now here it works. Look at this. And it's just the greatest thing. And it just, it seemed unreal at the time because, Although I knew about electric cars, I thought they just wouldn't charge and go very far, but but they could. And in the Henry Ford Museum, there's an electric car from like 1903. It looks perfect. It's never failed. It still runs perfectly. And um, yeah, the technology was all there. And I think, you know, with the canals, there's no reason for them to get rid of them. The Erie Canal, the 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 Wabash Canal and the other ones right around where I live. Like in Netherlands, they completely they, they overgrown. Them all up, a lot of them. Uh, they they went in and filled right. them well, in and made so streets. So canals being old world, it's like every single star city is built full of canals, and like and then they're they call them moats on some parts, but in like the citadels and the star cities, it's they're me and Cam have gone through. It's like 50, 60 canals going through the entire cities and through the walls of it all. And just like it was this seafaring transportation based um, like society and infrastructure, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it doesn't make sense to, to get rid of it when so many times they're using boats in lieu of road travel. Right. So why would you if you have um, waterways in an area, why would you get rid of it when you have all the bridges, everything's in place? You could just make use of it. It's more efficient. It's just like having train tracks, you know, but they decided, well, we're going to keep some certain train tracks, not the electric ones, but, but right? you know, the steam powered yeah. or diesel powered. 
where they have the horses pulling the old electric tra uh, trolleys uh, on the uh, lines. It's just and, like, what? No, I, 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 one of my theories baseball. about mud flood is that uh, the old uh, trains and train tracks um, were old world and they were all over the world. Um, so that's part of my mud flood theory. Mud flood theory by Biggs. It's all on YouTube. Yeah. Well, if you look at the the connection and the the um, cross country um, railroad in the United States, they had an artificial break, and it was still there even after they did Promontory Point and connected it. They mm. still had this artificial break um, right around the Mississippi River for I think ten or uh, at least. Um, oh man, what was it? It, it was. 10 or 15 years until it was finally actually all connected. <laughs> wow. So it's just like a, a like strange thing to go through all that trouble uh, to, to connect up the railroads. Well, of course, I think that is where we were yeah. already connected, but that is very strange. They, yeah. Like, and there's some of those Siberian rail pictures where it looks like they're literally digging out the rail from being under meters of like permafrost or whatnot. Yeah. 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 Um, up here, I have the photo of this is the Uni Unified Deep Water European Russian Canal, over 6,500 kilometers long. It goes from the Gulf of Finland there in the Baltic Sea all the way through down to uh, the Volga and Moscow, and then goes along the Volga, connecting all the way down to Rostodom, and connects to both the Black Sea as well as the Caspian Sea. And today, in today's eWook uh, video, he tries giving evidence of, oh, the... USSR, they built uh, this canal, this crazy canal, the White Sea Baltic Canal. This guy right here and tries it. Oh, they have pictures of just this little one right there. But it's connecting only that. Where is all the evidence of this 6,500 kilometer connection that is much ancienter and goes all the way through connecting three different seas to like it a con across continent essentially to asia it, it's absolutely nuts and when now, i haven't watched the full video i've been working all day um but one thing as i click through uh and skim through the video that i caught was that they were saying that none of the tartarian researchers have any construction experience and i would just like to say for myself I am a handyman by trade and I have worked in the construction industry. So yes, I do have experience in construction. So that's a lie. And I'm just speaking for myself. And, in fact, and, I'm starting uh, on Wednesday, I'm starting a project where I'm building an eight foot wide, 100 foot long poultry pen that is going to be very expensive and very nice for a very wealthy man. And you don't get hired to do something like that if you're some jack leg. So just saying. Right. And like, oh, I've got so many engineering friends that watch my stuff and are just like, yeah, like, thank you for finally bringing light to this stuff because it's never made sense. And <laughs> like in one rebuttal to, oh, no, I still wanted to show just this part right here. This is a Tartarian canal. This is what I'm talking about. This is the area of Tartaria, and it's a canal that is 6,500 kilometers long. And then the second one that I also talk about being a Tartarian canal is this grand canal in China, which is 3,000 years old. And, well, it's in China, part of Tartaria, okay? These are the Tartarian canals I'm referring to. Not, uh, ooh, somewhere over in the U.S. where there's a couple of pictures of them adding to one uh, little segment of one Remember, it's Tartaria. Like, it, it's, yeah, like, it, it's it's ridiculous. The, the cherry it's, picking of the flip yeah, the cherry video. Picking. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, like, it's interesting what you show. Cherry pick every little tiny little thing that looks absolutely perfect. Yeah, we cherry. Yeah, okay, okay. It's <laughs> it's interesting what you showed about the canals in China because on the western side they don't connect, 
Like, why would that be? Because also like in the United States, the Western part of China is this kind of wasteland desert. And it seems strange that they would be um, not having things connected, just like with the rail lines in the United States. It's a very similar story. Uh, yeah. Coincidence, I don't know. <laughs> so what I, I was reading up on the Chinese Grand Canal, it's like it used it, the most ancient parts in the oldest dynasties had the mo majority of that canal up and running and then it fell into disrepair and that only in the last hundred years have they gone back and dug out certain aspects of it to get it back up and working again where it's like the entire infrastructure of it is ancient as f and was the most advanced parts of it and then it somehow there was a reset and then got filled in and then they had to dig it back out. You know, a lot of the smaller canals that I've noticed are actually stone or brick lined. And matter of fact, I saw recently somewhere in India, I believe there was this canal that nobody knows how old it is or who built it or anything. And it was all, you know, brick lined or stone lined. It was humongous miles and miles and miles long and it was just absolutely phenomenally huge and nobody knows who built it it's like there's no record of it yeah that's like it's the there. one in in washington dc that's under underground it's all brick many of them are brick yeah, yeah they have the it's same thing in, uh, in Nova Scotia and, and, and tampa Florida and too. san francisco as well at least <laughs> and Literally tampa Bay. everywhere in the Pacific Northwest as well, they have them underground. Yeah, and they're finding them all the time now. They're going to do construction and they're digging up, and all of a sudden they find this brick, you know, tunnel that's big enough for a man to walk down. Another weird thing is that, uh, and I think uh, Conspiracy RS was talking about this the other day, but they're uh, the bottoms have wood planks on. Yeah, them. yeah, that was Conspiracy. It's very strange. Great video. That's not a sewer. Yeah, like oh, he, they even had the wood tested for fecal material, it and didn't have was, any. yeah, zero zero organic matter other than the wood in the samples when they tested it. Yeah, that was yeah. an awesome episode. Exactly. Look, I I don't believe that the whole world was full of Tartarians. I'm not an idiot. Okay, I do believe that there was a civilization called Tartaria. Okay, they were up in you know the upper Siberian area, and then they expanded just like you know, the United States has expanded all around the world. They did the same thing we're doing. Okay. And they had a presence all around the world. Okay. Just like we do today. That's, that's how I look at it. Now, exactly. So I just want to interrupt you. Like, so with the <laughs> world fairs, there was literally like a little India, little like Thailand, little everything segment in them, right? Where it's like, it was this giant global civilization that was represented beforehand. And then the new Roman empire came in and conquered absolutely everybody crushed this free world and reset it all essentially is what i'm thinking there's a lot going on here that's the canal yeah in, uh where are we yeah, the, 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 right off the Dnieper river in uh ukraine here and it parallels the great wall of tartaria uh douglas have you seen this the well this is the canal but the great wall of star forts that uh, goes along this it's it's just nuts so, like that's another part like oh okay no such thing as tartaria or no such thing as like old world in the new world but what are all of these star forts this giant wall of star forts across the eurasian country continent that was literally called tartaria and then we have these identical star forts throughout the entire world including new york that the wall street is the identical wall as this wall that it goes throughout and, eurasia and they're not really forts it's better to call them star cities because if you find the ones that are less disturbed there are bricks that match what is in the fort all throughout a huge area i mean right. many many square miles and it's a citadel it's a complete complete city um from the 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 star yeah. shape but going out 
and uh, it's a lot of bricks for example you know that that's a good point i want to make a point here uh the the flip-flop nation um talked about how they had brick making machines and they made the bricks with these machines and they could spit out a bunch of damn bricks now here's the thing i don't care if that machine can spit out a billion bricks a day i don't give a damn it doesn't matter to me how Curious. many bricks where and who and how did they fire the bricks because if you don't fire a brick you ain't got a brick yeah it's Curious. been it's been used as a criticism that okay a little girl can make a mud brick you know, so many in a day and everything, but yeah, maybe in a warm climate when it, if you don't mind it crumbling and, you know, that's a, few a sun, decades. That, that's a sun dried brick. Now that, that is, a brick brick. Brick. That is not the kind of brick right? that these buildings are made of. The kind of brick that these buildings are made are of are fired bricks. That means they had to be fired in a kiln. And if you study kiln firing bricks, it is very difficult to fire bricks. You also lose 10 to 15% of your bricks every time you fire your bricks, which are known as the clinker bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that it, now that's another thing they said. They said that the melted buildings were clinker bricks. No, that's two completely different things. Clinker bricks are clinker bricks, and melted buildings are melted buildings. A melted building is not clinker bricks. Well, yeah, they, they, they do use they did use those bricks, and and it's they kind of a blurry do. area. But the but it's interesting you mentioned that because they were very valuable the, the, bricks too. Yeah, I mean they wouldn't waste them, and so where mm. are all these clinker bricks when you have these huge, huge structures with perfect bricks, all perfect? You know, almost exact, and and so where are all the pieces? You know, there's a lot of questions, right? And questions. so a lot of the citadel star cities too, like Malta and like the I artificial island ones. It seems like it's actually like three or four stories worth of. Uh, we'd think of it as cement, but geopolymer that they were making it out of because it's just this unison like star geometry of tunnels going throughout and like the, the cities of it and that it was all built into that and that it some say melted, but it, with the research of Paul Cook and others, it's looking more like geopolymer and that it was much, much more ancient and then re-inhabited after one or two resets. Yes, geopolymer is absolutely 100% involved in this. In my opinion. Yeah, and then the, that's another thing from the World's Fairs where they talk about staff and it's like this garbage stuff and it, it's just a reinvention or re like literal recasting of what actually existed that was much better even going That's back to the, talk the, about the 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 uh construction photos of the world's fair here's a point i'd like to interject i'm not saying and i never have said that the construction photos of the world's fair are faked i've never said that but I will say that I have a lot of these photos. I have shown them on my channel. I have shown entire videos of construction photos of World's Fairs. But how do we know that these photos aren't just found photos, number one? Number two, what if we found these construction sites, these World Fair construction sites, in the middle of construction after a reset and we came in and we took pictures and then finished out these buildings and and did them up what if they were half constructed when we found them right well exactly and half of them it's like it could be repair pictures because they found them like they destroyed after conquered after a war then they're building them back and or some of them are also them deconstructing the buildings mm -hmm. and that they're taking the fit footage of them demolish thing not rebuilding or none of it is actual build i well, have a, a, a whole of it, other theory i like to throw out there and see if it sticks is what if and i'm speculating what if all the the old world's fair sites were built at one time around the world and they were going to have an actual world's fair hmm. and they were going to have it all around the world at one time and that's why we find all these sites in the same time frame all around the world at the same time and we had a reset. We found the buildings. They were in the middle of construction. It's just a speculation. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's an idea. 
right? Is that possible? I also suspect think that it's just they they were world cities, and that's why you have the different clusters of like the Korean building, the Greek building, and everything yeah. else in it. Yeah, it's like Epcot Center at Walt Disney World now. You know, Here, here's they the problem. call them they call them white cities, and I found it in Boston. I think it was yeah. in, be, before they had the World's Fair thing. They had this area where they showed the train stops, and they had train stations, electric tram, you know, stations and stops that were never used, but they were built, and they were called White City. It was like three stops. And nobody got off there because it was all closed off. It was all fenced off. White, you know, the white city, just like in Chicago, they called it that. They had it in Sheffield, England, too. White city. Yeah. Uh, and so it uh, had, it, it, they had built infrastructure to send people there. Of course, well, well, that's because they were going to, half the world is going to go there. Millions of people are going to go, you know, to Buffalo, to the, the, the exposition or whatever. You know, it, I don't know that that many people would have gone but they had the, the train stops there from the beginning. You know, another weird anomaly is the fact that a lot of these buildings are actually temporary, which makes me wonder, you know, you were saying it was a civilization, Bernie, but what if they really are temporary buildings? I mean, it could be that, that they are temporary, or maybe they were just building frames to add a a. a a good facade later i don't know they're very they're an anomaly is what they are they're very different that and here's another thing the, the flip-flop nation they want to talk about the world's fairs all the time oh world's fairs but then they completely ignore all the brick buildings all the way around the world all the same style all the same construction they ignore all the bricks all the facade all the mud flood windows they ignore all that but all the world's fair pictures you can have the World's Fair. Go play. Go look at that. We'll look at the rest of it. We'll take the rest. We'll move on. Not. He's showing some um, canals in Russia here. I mean, look at this. So, you know, this is why I'm saying you can't focus on one canal because look at just in this shot here, we've got this one, we've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and it's there's one going down the shoreline here that keeps going down for basically around half, you know, it goes right down around here. So who built all this? It, it's it's the actual, it's the the size of the construction work that's, that, that we're questioning. I mean, I mean, look at this. This is just one tiny part of the Because canals, you have to have level. That's the crazy part. Yeah, they have to be level. Exactly. And then just, just a little level too. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be the right, the right, um, Declination is that the right word? Hey, but, Campbell, so this is if, the if you get time, go look at the international, um, the intercoastal waterway in America. That thing is in, in that thing is crazy. It's over there on the east coast of uh, of America, and it 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 spans. I don't know what. Douglas, what is it? Two thirds of of the East Coast. Well, see, I I thought it just went basically across Florida, and then at one point I found out it went somehow all the way to Texas or something. But it, I didn't I didn't know. I thought it was like a perfectly Florida. straight line. Wow. It, it go, yeah. I know it goes from Florida all the way to I think New York, um, hmm. or uh, slightly below New York. Um, but it it is definitely a lot longer than people realize. And they yes, say sir. that they built it because they wanted to be able to have shipping um, where the the they you couldn't see it from the ocean during World War II. Hmm. So they built yeah. this for World War II. Because the so Germans were always right off the coast of all right. of the United States all the time. <laughs> really? That's yeah, what they that's say. What, that's the official story. They they have a few stories of the Germans swimming up to the beach, you know, and <laughs> trying to to sabotage like communications or or like yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> and the, the, and the J Japanese too. They did that on the west coast as well. Oh yeah, that's that was the reason for the internment camps. Is you never know, the saboteurs are coming. You know. <laughs> ah. Yeah, and it's interesting because that's like a lot like the one in in Russia, right? Look how close it is to the beach. 
Uh, it's, and it's here. It's big, Beach Campbell. It's not a little canal. It is huge. No, it's 130. It was 130 wide, I think. It, it's yeah. Like, it's big. And it's that way the whole way. It is big. 146 wide. So it's it's huge. Huge. But look, but why would you build a canal right on the ocean? I mean, of course, sorry, to hide boats in I don't want to see yeah. some construction photos. I want to see construction photos from start to finish, all the way down, all the way up and down. I want to see Me the too. whole okay. deal. And this is Russia. Is this the right place? I think it is. Am I in the right spot? Um, where are you, Russia? Yeah, this is right, isn't it? No, what have I done? I'm in the wrong spot. You got the plane upside do down. Am I upside down? Am I? Are we in not? Kaliningrad there or St. Petersburg? That's that's the edge. Oh. oh, you're on the Pacific side. That's no, your... okay. Sorry, I'm supposed to be way up here. Some. Yeah, across across the continent. You're still on up the Pacific here? side now. You're still on the Pacific side. You want to go okay. on the Atlantic? Oh, let me have a look here. Where are uh, we? Um, I'm so God, I'm lost. No, oh shit! No, across. Go left. Go left. Okay, across. This is Ukraine. No, that's not Ukraine. That's Mongolia. This is Keep Russia. Keep, yep, it's all Russia. Keep going, Campbell. You're okay. upside Our down, man. Team. Am I really though? You're upside down. You're not really upside down. You just got to go left all the way. You're there. You go. This season. Now go left. No, you're going back to Pacific. There we yeah. go. Yeah. There. No, over a little oh, bit more. God, left, a little bit more. left a little bit more. Left. There you go. There you go. There's the black or the Baltic Sea. Now you oh got the spot. Look into my brain. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Has it on a globe, so you got a little thrown off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? It, it confused the balls, man. But yeah, here's one in Russia, right? Just right along the, the, the right along the coast, like we see in of Florida. Like, what's the point of this? That's for the American subs, I guess, huh? Oh, that's yeah. So they yeah to hide from the American subs. That makes sense. And, and was you know, that a is... lake? Is that a lake though? Yeah. Is that, I mean, it might have sea access. I don't know. Well, the canals connect. Oh, yeah, exactly right. It is a lake. It's not. No, there's no access to the sea. I don't think unless you go. Well, the only canals. through the canals. The, there's yeah, the, right can, the canal goes from the sea to that lake to the uh, next somewhere. lake, and then all the way through Moscow, and then down into the uh, Black Sea as well as the Caspian Sea. You and know, I wondered that about the Erie Canal because much of it runs right along Lake Erie, and it would seem why why even build the canal when you can just go out on the lake with your boats and go along right? there. Well, I mean, it, the sea Great gets point. choppier. I think maybe the canal boats can't handle sudden, you know, squalls they, or whatever. They had ocean, like, cargo ships on the Great Lakes. That was a big part of it. It's like, why would you go through all that extra work in that time period to build mm -hmm. a parallel canal next to the entire length of the lake? Well, yeah, and there were naval sea battles on the lake, too, between and the continents. These are, and wow. this is just obviously just a bit of Europe, but every green one is a star. Wow. Yeah. Like the amount of the amount of work, you might be able to explain away how one was built, but explain to me how I think the the, the most that anyone's got is about seven thousand so far, stars and, and forts and things. And you just zoom in and they just here's the remains of one. So it's wow. one. But um Look what's next to it, right? Bloody canal. Canal. Yeah. And you just can see the, by the red color, all the bricks. That's yeah. indicative of the amount, the vastness. Colm Gibney found a couple. Uh, I don't know if it was in Poland, I think, one of them. It was It. It was almost pretty well intact, the Star City. It was so many bricks, and it, it just flowed out. It's not just the fort. It was just, that's just the focal point, you know, that... The construction just basically went out from there in a lot of cases, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And there's there's some that are just in the middle of nowhere. And and so this is, you know, my main point is explain everything. That's the thing. You, like I said, you might be able to explain one 
Hey, nice hey, Camel, I, um, I got a question. Who who is doing the research to find all these star forts? Who, who do we have to? Uh, most of this has been done by Com Gibney and uh, Monkey. Thirteenth Monkey, yeah. Thirteenth Monkey. Is that connected to that old uh, Star Fort Maps website? Do you remember that site? Uh, yeah, starforts.org is yes. Com Com Gilmy G- Gilmy. That is oh, his. So okay, his okay. Home. Because yeah, that's yeah. where I originally, when I did my Star Wars yeah. video a, a couple years ago, that's actually where I got my numbers for uh, how many Star Forts there were. And when I did that, there was like 1,600 that had been found. And I'm sorry, oh, yeah, no, they found some more, more since now. I did that. And that's few incredible. More now, yeah. Yeah, and just a few. See, I mean, it's a bit hard, there's so many, but you can kind of see that they go in rings. Like if I go down here, let's do it. See how they kind of, you can see that that's a city, right? And you've got like a big star, then you have the, the star on the outside, then you have these sort of rings of stars, like the satellite stars, I call them, these kind of little funny shaped things. So it's it's clearly, it's a big system of some kind, you know, and it's like Dougie was saying, it's all star cities, you know, these aren't forts. This is, I mean, come on, do we really think they're all forts built in 200 years by a traveling band of, you know, French makers another telltale sign is in america they say oh they built that for the civil war but then you know or you know such and such a war but then you see the same styles of uh forts all the way around the world so where's the explanation for that and the the batteries specifically and they're called the batteries and so many of these batteries are also on artificial islands that they had to build the artificial island at the same time as the battery and that's where it's like explain that today like uh they're struggling even in saudi arabia to finish the third palm island and the world uh island project that they did i thought they gave up on that i thought yeah exactly they gave up on it and it's like because well, it was too hard to maintain. Build the batteries in the star forts. It's a, it's a joke. Well, they're building it out of sand, and they don't have the wherewithal to turn the sand into bricks that are they would yeah. actually last. Yeah, right, Douglas. Yeah. That's today that they're they're having that problem. And then you look at the artificial islands of the past, and it's literally megalithic or brick. So it was more advanced mm. then than they're doing now. Yeah. Yeah, well, the one in Florida um, that that I did a video on that's out uh, west of Key West, that I figured was basically a water desalinization plant that stored fresh water for the ships because there were probably a lot of ships doing trade, you know, because it's along that swath of the Atlantic that Columbus discovered you could cross in, in 1492, you know. But if it was there as a trade route for a long time, then the ships needed fresh water. And and that's basically what the thing was. It wasn't uh, a fort used for war ever. No. No. Well, I mean, look, this is Madagascar. Same kind of canal. All right. Clearly man-made, equidistant edges in Madagascar. Yeah, so there are, two, there are two kinds of canals I'm seeing. The intercoastal waterway types, like that looked pretty large. And then there's the smaller ones that I was talking smaller about, ones. like the Erie Canal with the boats that they mm. all fit perfectly. I mean, there's right. there's just right. a little bit of clearance on each side. It's very precise. Have you ever seen the San Antonio um, has the canal through the city? Have you ever seen that one? No, I, I've seen a lot. Of, I've been in like in Europe. um, in Colmar in France, they have canals that go through the city and they, they're they built over, but the canals are still there. It's clearly man-made. Right. But is, is that the same thing in San Antonio, that type of thing? It, it's like, like um, I remember, I went there when I was in high school and I remember the, the canal went through the city and it was down, you had to go down um, to get to it. And it they had these shops all along the sides, but it's like, stone built on the sides if i remember correctly but um <coughs> these things are all over the place i mean you can mm-hmm. even kind of question the uh la river i don't know yeah. stuff like that i mean not saying it's old world and just saying it, this is something to question 
I mean, I mean clearly, I the LA LA is like huge old world stuff. I did an entire show recently just looking at old world LA. Like eight hours of it or something, I mean, or six hours or something. It was like, do you remember that one, Campbell? I no, eight oh hours. God. They have some good photographs from early times in LA. And they have these big piles of dirt and then ramshackle homes and then some really robust buildings. Yeah, because they nearby. sluiced it. Uh, they, the, the Bunker Hill area. Um, I think it's called Bunker Hill. They sluiced it just like they did in uh, Seattle. They did the same thing. And what and, do you uh, mean by that? What's that term mean? What they do is uh, sluicing is they take a uh, high pressure uh, fire hose okay. and they spray it at the mud and they turn it they at the dirt and they turn it into mud and then they uh, transfer that mud course. and they build up new land. Um, and they flatten out the area. They also did it in uh, Kansas City, I believe. Um, they've done it in quite a few places, uh, but it's called sluicing. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the pictures of that where the homes are left on top in precarious <laughs> ah. ways sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. But, that, I mean, it's it, that's official history stuff. But, I mean, and they that's say good. that regrade what i think it is is it's they're trying to get rid of the mud from the mud flood they're they're trying to get that mud out of there and bring find a, a, a new grade because everything's so messed up but um, well your work on viaducts has shown they've gone through and leveled out all the cities you know after the buildings have been built clearly well, i think they did different things in different areas but i mean i've i've proved that atlanta is and uh Cleveland and Cincinnati. Um, and then I have other cities that are high on my list, like Chicago and New York and Boston um, and London as being viaduct cities. And then I have a whole list of, of cities that people are sending me and people are saying my city has the same thing. And mm -hmm. so now I can't look into all this at one time, but, you know, I'm trying my best. <laughs> well, Chicago is interesting because they... <laughs> They lifted the buildings. They put them on roller skates. <laughs> I don't think yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the one I they picked up. And people good. literally just got underneath and carried it down the road. Have you seen that one? Yeah, That's yeah. And they, the person in the hotel, and they, they, they have guests in the hotel, and they have they hundreds of the workmen thing. lifting it the whole time. They're thinking, well, yeah. I didn't know it was lifting. And here's my theory on Chicago. I think Chicago is quite possibly a viaduct city. And what I think they did was they came in and they raised the city via viaducts. And I think if you actually get down boots on the ground and do some urbex, I think you're going to find old world Chicago underneath the viaducts in Chicago. I don't think they raised Chicago. Now that's mm. just my theory. It's an opinion. And I mm. haven't proven that, but I am working on that theory. Well, that's another yeah, point yeah. is, and I don't, did you guys touch on it before? Is all the tunnels, right? All the underground rivers. And Paul Paul went through one. Paul Cook yes. a few weeks ago went went on a boat through the um, Fleet Fleet River, which is now Fleet Street, right? And the Fleet River is like two stories, three stories underground. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's probably a man made canal. So that's a whole nother story, right? So cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, also, like all the aqueducts throughout South America that are identical to the Roman, so-called Roman aqueducts all right. throughout the Middle East and throughout yeah, in Mexico too. Yeah, exactly. All throughout Mexico and everywhere. And it's like serious research needs to start being done on taking samples of these old world architecture buildings and comparing them across continents. And I bet you're going to start finding very similar material makes, if not like matched identical ones. And yeah, also probably similar binders and things, but then natural, um, you know, uh, what are they called? Like amalgamates, like the, the actual bulk materials would be. Yeah. Exactly, the region, but it would all be the same. So same style, or, and then local yeah. material. And, and I mean, how, how, how do you get aqueducts in in South America, right? I mean, those Romans, they sure did Rome, mate. They were Roman everywhere. I, I, the I can't say Rome. a lot about South America, but I will tell you that every time we go and look at Argentina on my show, I just go nuts. In Argentina, that place is wildly old world. Mm. It is cool. 
If you've never looked at Argentina, go Google drop into Argentina and just yeah. take a look around because it's phenomenal. South America's got some I spent a lot of time looking at the area uh, between uh, Colombia and Panama where there there's no road connecting North America to South America. There's the one place you would think there would be a road. There is no road. It, there's about 80 miles of gap. And it's there there are old world structures there that are overgrown. After I made the video about it, I got some emails and comments from people who actually had spent time in that area. Um, like there were some people who were like trackers, as others like surfers. There's some good surfing in the area. And they're saying, yeah, it's just pretty well known. They're drug, they they say they're drug runners and, and things like that. Uh that make it so nobody wants to be in the area, not even road construction, <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. And so there you can take like an enduro bike or something across, but it's not easy. You have to portage your vehicle sometimes, mm -hmm. but there's no reason they couldn't have a road. And there were old world structures there. They're just completely overgrown, wiped out. And they have been for at least a mm -hmm. couple hundred years. Yeah, yeah, I remember watching a documentary back in the 90s where they were showing um, satellite imagery where they were seeing that trees were raised above other trees in a line. And they went down to look and they found old stone roads and the trees were growing on top of the roads and they were old like mm -hmm. Mayan roads. Yeah, I looked I at the Google the pictures. There's the broken up roads of where the gap is. There's broken roads just littered around even on along the coast along the beaches as like wave breaks and stuff it's clearly an old road that was broken up they didn't haul it that far and it's just clearly just not that they didn't build one it's that there was a road that they destroyed <laughs> they destroyed it instead, yeah and thank you very much john sup for your kind donation um but, but this is the thing didn't they build like Miami wasn't the, the reason that Miami sort of became you know, a city is because they built a road, right? Straight down through all the, the um, what are they called? The, the islands, <laughs> the Keys, or, Florida or like Keys. The Keys. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. look at, so you look at the road one. to Key West is vastly longer. Yeah. That's over water. It's vastly longer than it would be necessary to connect up uh, Panama and yeah, Colombia and connect that. two continents. Exactly. And what would be better for trade, right? I mean, you'd think yeah. that, it, that it, you know, every trade, every reason that, uh, for doing the Panama Canal, you have every of the same reasons to have the road connecting the two continents. Exactly, but, right? But it's so but, weird. Um, yeah. I have an update on uh something I was uh talking about on my channel. Um, so I just want to share this with you guys. I know you guys will love this. Um, I have a um. A guy that I work for, he owns a major demolition company here in America. And I mean major. He's a big dude, okay? And um, he does very large demolition contracts. Um, but every time I talk to him, I ask him, hey, what are you working on? And um, the last time I was talking to him um, a, a couple weeks ago, he mentioned that he was working on a building in downtown Raleigh. And he mentioned the building name. I can't name the building, um, but he told me which building was working on. I said, oh, really? I said, that's on my list of buildings that I'm researching for my documentary on Raleigh. I said, can you tell me something? He said, what's that? I said, is there a basement in the building? And he looked at me really strange. Mm -hmm. and he said, how did you know that? And I said, well, part of my theory is that there is a... Uh, um, a basement in that building. Um, and he said, well, actually there is a basement. I said, well, did the owner know about it? He goes, no, they bought the place in 1918 and they did not know it had a basement. And when we went to um, do the demolition, we had to do tests because it's beside a railroad track. And we had to know if it was going to, if it was a basement or not, if there was a basement, because if it's, if it has a basement, we have to shore it up. So they drilled through the side of the building and they found that there was air. So they knew there was a basement. So then I said, well, can I get out there to the site? He said, well, I'll see what I can do. Well, then I didn't hear from him for a couple of weeks. 
So I sent some of my boots on the ground people out there to get some video. So I got some video of it. But then um, it got locked down and, and like nothing was going on. So I talked to him the other day and he, they, they said, he said that now I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement to find this out. And I can't tell you what he told me, but I will tell you this. When they cracked the basement, they found something of historical significance and shut the site down. I'm going there in another week to do a oh, site survey nice. and to do an investigation myself. So I'm do, I'm do. getting in there. I can't tell you anymore, but do. that's really cool. Do. And there is officially windows and doors below the ground in this building. Nobody knew they were there. I think you need to do a, a, a stealth night mission, dude. What, what, what if they empty it? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Cool. I mean, that, that's what that's that's for, man. I know it's out there. I know there's somewhere like there's like like just like you said, there's basements that have been blocked up at some point. No one remembers them, and they've got stuff in them. Mm -hmm. And that's all we need. We just need to find the stuff, right? Oh, and then he told me, he said, yeah, and by the way, we tore down an old church the other day, and when we were like the this building down, we found there was a basement in there, and they didn't know they had a basement in their building. Basement, yeah, probably a um, like a water tank, yeah. And it was right down the street from where I'm talking about now. Mm. It, we're, we're getting there, y'all. We are really getting this is This is the thing, I mean, I'm on the side of trying to disprove this because – Every step of the way, you know, we keep proving ourselves right. You know, um, over and over. I mean, you know, UOP will remember a couple, you know, three years ago, right? We had nothing. We were looking at windows. Then we started finding cars falling through roads. You know, we started, for, you know, the red bricks. You know, it's like, is everything red brick? Right? We were asking that question. And then we started finding these things with the, the facade ripped off. And it's like, oh, they are. So, yeah, um, you know, good luck to those trying to, trying to disprove this. But I mean, it's really what are they trying to say? Are they trying to prove the books and that the, the, the government are correct and that the history is correct? Because as far as I know, and this is, yes, I've been very good, but they called us all commie and lefties for, for, for being into this research. Because, yeah, that, that, because I, I remember what their I, reasoning I is. On my that, show about that. that really ticked me off. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm an American. I'm not a damn communist. So you're all commies, the, guys. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. And, and the and reasoning was right. that. That we talk you don't about know nothing about my political being, beliefs. I have no political beliefs, mm -hmm. but I sure as hell ain't no damn communist. No, well, this is what they're saying is because we're saying it was a worldwide connected civilization. They're saying that means we're we're um, globalists, new world order. That that's their connection point. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I know, right? You AP. I have the same look when I maybe <laughs> maybe yeah. old world order. <laughs> Like exactly right. So not, not part of the new world disorder. So that's that's yeah, stock I mean, profit level, y'all. <laughs> oh, got GW in. Uh, he brought it out. Yeah, I, come on. I hijacked the the stock GW tonight. I, you know, I brought him out of uh, obscurity. Put him out of hibernation. Is that counterfeit <laughs> Nichols uh, G Dub? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh well i i y'all I, 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 I hope i hope uh that that uh you understand now what vanilla sky is i hope you understand what uh photo manipulation is i hope you understand that we're not a bunch of clowns up here we're actually doing hardcore research we're not messing around we're actually finding evidence of what we're saying now we don't have all the answers and we don't pretend to, but uh we're doing our best. Mm. And um, you we're know. asking questions and, and we're also us. asking questions. We're not trying to disprove anyone. I mean, this trying to disprove someone is not research. It, it's not research. I mean, I'm sorry. That that's just trying to disprove someone. What why wouldn't you go in and show your own information and go, well, this is you know, this, this is what I think. Here's my proof. Okay, that's and cool. You don't, you, but why are you, what, what, if you don't believe, well, the problem is, you is don't that have they your do own it. theory. What, why are mm. you trying, what are you trying to get a seat at a table? Yeah, okay, look, it's yeah, like we're having this no, dinner, no, no. right, at, at Campbell's house, right? And we're all invited, but then the, you got the neighbor next door who's a real asshole. 
and the neighbor wants to come over and Campbell says, Hey, would you guys like to invite asshole over for dinner? We're all like, why? <laughs> we don't want to give them a seat at the table. Because why would you invite uh, an asshole to dinner? It was uh, me. And, and it's only because I knew they would say no. <laughs> they're they're yeah. flip flop radio. And it's like a picture of punching bags. And it's like, no, you want to step into the ring. Stop flipping around. Is it? Flip flop radio. They flip more time. Flip flop more times than at a Denny's freaking uh, side grill. Like, I'm not debating yeah. anybody that it's don't get on camera. Yeah. First of all, that's first and up. You, I don't. I don't debate an icon. You know, you're not gonna put an well, icon. This is the thing. Like, that's the first thing I said. Yeah, yeah debate. Man. Bring your face. Show us who you are, Mister Ewar. Yeah, who are you? I mean, I'm up here putting my my neck on the line, okay? Putting my my truth out there, okay? Up here on this damn screen, where are you? Hiding behind a curtain? Yeah, that makes you an <laughs> iconoclast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the true definition and, of the it's, it's Well, easy, I mean, it's easy to yell and scream when there's when you've hidden yourself so you, you get no rebuttals, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. people know who I am. People have been to my house. People, you know, my emails up there now. My, there's a, you know. Well, to me, to I'm me, it's person. like you, you, people should agree to disagree. I mean, if you have, if you, if you're sticking to an official narrative, what's the point? I mean, we could just turn on the History Channel or whatever, you know. Yeah. And and then if <laughs> if you have an alternative view, well, we're pretty open here, right? About the fact that we don't know we're speculating and if the speculation thought experiments doesn't work for you it's okay you know um i don't know why anybody would be upset or have bad energy about it honestly i don't yeah exactly but but it's because it's me that's triggered um so yeah th this is the thing and just on that you know because no doubt People will be watching this podcast and clipping it and recording it and all this kind of stuff. Um, and they'll probably say that we're triggered. Uh, clearly, we're, we're all fairly calm at the moment. But there's a big difference between being triggered and being a man and standing up for yourself and defending yourself, your friends and your community. Big, big difference, right? If someone attacks you and your friends and your community and you don't stand up, well, maybe you're not a man, okay? But standing up for yourself is not being triggered. Just want to put no. that out there. Yeah, no. I have to say I'm not aware of what's been going on. Yeah, I don't know so what you're drag. talking about because <laughs> I'm I'm more coming from like oh, let's say positive energy or something. Yeah. But yeah. apparently, apparently somebody's hurt <laughs> or said yeah, something. Yeah. Like, so I don't know. I, I I quit paying attention. <laughs> you know, I got a little bit of criticism or whatever from one of them at one point, and and there was some vitriol. Um, when I did address it and it was just enough for me, I just like, yeah, you know, so I haven't paid attention, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's the best way. And, and we're not, you know, this is the thing. We just wanted to put out our, our point of view on the, on the photos, cause they were clearly putting out disinformation. We wanted to show the whole story, um, but we don't want to focus on them. We don't want to give it them our attention because all that's going to do is stop us doing good work. And that's exactly what they want. I wanted to be a part of this because, you know, they're saying, you know, the the, the way they were oh, explaining you, Vanilla Sorry. Sky is, is completely not correct. And I have proven Vanilla Sky over and over and over again on my show week after week. I show this. I show different photos showing this stuff. And I just showed you. I mean, I know y'all are about tired of me showing those damn photos. <laughs> I could yeah, feel I, it. It's but been no, no. overexposed, would you say? Overexposed. <laughs> Good one. But I think I got my point across. Yeah, mm. and yeah. you know, I don't know what at what point did did anybody else make? I mean, obviously there are some e examples of of photo exposure or something that would make it naturally be that way, or times where they would legitimately crop something out for reasons of marketing or something like that but that's it's what you showed and what we have seen too elsewhere is goes way beyond all that it goes way beyond yeah yeah, yeah. totally agree yeah. yeah and once again that's what we we sort of talk about is the scale of what's happened and that's a you know i can prove 
privilege or this that doesn't prove anything because it's the scale this is all the time. realm wide we're talking more and more all the time i'm getting better at squat that's that's one thing that's helping so mm. i'm this, but anyway let's no not talk about them anymore i mean god i felt the energy <laughs> It's that. the preponderance right. of that's evidence. We yeah. have to highlight. This is the video they put up. Yeah, I'm not so playing it. Yeah. It was it. It's just so stupid because they literally they cut the our audio and then they played about five of our audio tracks oh, over themselves, so you couldn't even hear it. Try to trying make to make us make look, it look like. like cool. And they're trying then, to make it look like we're really triggered and we're arguing with each other, but but they they literally yeah they, they've overlaid four or five audio tracks on top of each other. So that there's all these voices going, but we're actually just yeah. talk, sitting there talking and laughing. And, 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 then, and I can let, let me let me say something uh, because people don't know what we're experiencing here. There is a delay, so when you start talking, it's about three seconds before any of you all have all heard that you're talking. So there's no way to know. And then the way the software works, at least for me, it'll cut out most. If like if two of you are talking, it'll just pick one of you. And then switch to the other one and switch to the other one. So it becomes almost unintelligible. It's not anybody's fault. This ain't yeah. easy, y'all. Y'all, if you've never done this, and I'm not talking about one-on-one. -on -one, I'm talking about when you get two or more, it gets very hard to do this. And so you you, you really need to give us a break on that. <laughs> yeah, We're doing Cam this again. Campbell's all the way oh, over in goodness. Australia. That's a three-second delay. That's almost half as far away as the ISS at seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, unquote. <laughs> of course. You, and we don't have to remind each other, okay, three seconds, three seconds, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three seconds, man. Three seconds it's, away. It's an actual oh. delay. Yeah, it is. I don't, know, I don't know how exactly how long it is, but it's long enough that it messes with you. A hundred percent. So lastly, I'm just going to point out and we'll drop the, I'll drop the subject of them. But in that video today, he got called canals literally just tries to debate the eerie canal, which I've never talked about or called uh, Tartarian uh, and tries claiming that Tartaria is over there. And it's like, I'm referring to Tartarian canals being in Russia and China, both, one sixty five hundred kilometers long, one's five thousand kilometers long, thousands of years old, and all he tries to debate and dis debunk us with is the canal from the White Sea, that little two hundred kilometer segment out of sixty five hundred kilometers. Like it, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, Another it, thing it, they were making a comment. He made a comment today. He said all the Tartarian researchers are are monetized. I am not monetized. That is why my numbers are so low because YouTube hmm. does not promote my channel because I am not monetized. So that's not true. Here, I know here. a lot of well, you guys are monetized, but I'm not monetized. So saying we're but, but, all monetized is not what's, true. And I call what's the problem with monetized? being monetized? Huh? If people are putting this being in full time hours either. for a job. Why shouldn't they be paid for it? Why is, is that supposed to be some kind of a wear bad or something or wear shields? Okay, Ewa, go to work yeah. <laughs> and tell your boss you don't want to be paid. Yeah. Okay, and until you do that, don't tell me I can't get paid for my work. You you, you, you can't you can't do this to the level you guys are doing it and and not have some sort of income coming from it, and the more the better. Exactly. The more the better. When I started my channel, I travel. didn't want to be monetized because I wanted to use copyrighted material. That's why I play 95% of my material has copyrighted material on it because I like to use music. Mm. That's my choice. That's how I started my channel. Now I'm realizing later in you know my career here is that that was probably a bad choice. That's why I've started the Stuff Beagle Light channel, which is non- copyrighted material and so i'm trying to get that one going so that i can monetize that one so i can drive it to my main channel but that's going to take so long to get going that it's not even worth talking about but go sub that channel so i can maybe get it there one day please mm. Stuff what i don't like the best is all these people you never hear them coming out and saying mr beast he he bloody monetizes his videos 
oh my god joe rogan he monetizes his videos yeah so, so yeah okay people are allowed to make millions of dollars for spreading you know stupidity but we're not allowed to make a, a weekly you know <laughs> living from actually researching i mean yeah, anyone with that attitude, I mean... I don't know any Tartarian researcher is making a million dollars. Matter of fact, I don't know... <laughs> any, they're, they're not, not making it. Million and dollars. this is the thing. If people think we're, <laughs> that we're making... That we're rich or something, then... Yeah, come on, guys. Okay. jobs right now because I'm not monetized. They keep deleting my channels and... Well, I ain't no lazy bum, so you got to work. You got to do what you got to do. Go do it, go do it. I mean, I have Patreons, and, you know, that's that supports my channel, but I'm not monetized. Mm. But you should be, because we all need a Patreon. There's well, this whole thing about... I know, should be, but the problem is, free. in order to monetize mm. my channel, I have to delete 95% of my content. That's like mm. over 530 yeah, no, videos. And those um, are just the ones that, you know, have still remained. I mean, I've already yeah. lost 100 videos just due to copyright issues. Yeah. And the thing is, information is free, guys. How do you think we get information? You know, so, so the choice is go and spend 100 hours researching or spend an hour, you know, watching someone's video who's done the research. And if you do, well, the, the price is you've got to watch an ad or two. And if that's a problem, go and read a book for 100 hours. Like, that's your choice. That's it. Like, and seriously, I mean, this really gets to me it is that, that truth should be free and anyone doing the right thing and actually trying to spread truth and help people, what, should do it for free and start. But all these other people, they're allowed to make millions of dollars. You don't hear these people who, you know, who, who criticise us. You don't hear them criticising the millionaires, the billionaires, Babylon, the stores, the people who own YouTube, who own Google. No, no, no. It's just us little guys who are trying to scrape together. Well, the funniest part is uh, like the other day I was showing one of my buddy uh, Jeremiah's videos from his channel and like he had gone out of his way to like make sure his videos weren't monetized so they wouldn't have ads and I play it and there's still an ad. And he's yeah, just yeah, like, like what the that. hell? You, you don't know, get like, a choice. On it. I have ads on my um channel. You don't get a choice. YouTube shows their ads whether you're monetized or not. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. They want their money. Oh my God. Yeah, it's amazing how that works. Things. Yeah, it is amazing how that works, ain't it? Because <laughs> I, I, I make music, compose it, publish it, you know, through a, a, a label, and I, I don't, I can't even run ads if somebody else uses my music. I can't monetize their video. It's amazing how others can do that to me all the time, but I, I can't do it. You know, and I'm totally legit with the part YouTube partner program and all that stuff, but it, it's yeah. just not an option. Yeah. It's not an option for me. It's, it's just crap, isn't it? So, and this is so, the thing where, you know, we still got to go and try and do other things now to, if we want to keep, you know, this is the choice, right? We've got to either make money doing this, find other ways to support it or stop what we're doing. That's really the choice, guys. You know, that our choice is, you know, if I we get a job, this works. also myself with handyman work that's that's how i earn my bread and butter but you know to keep this going to buy you know it takes a lot of equipment to do what i do um mm. you know i yeah, burn through hard nice. drives like water i mean it's just it oh. it costs money to do this it it you know the, <laughs> there's on a program right now in order to make it work money. it's not you know, free just straight, it's not <laughs> So. Um, make videos you want to watch you can afford no 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 for YouTube. No, don't it does that mean we don't get paid though? Don't tell people that. <laughs> no, no, get no paid people, people... every person can get you like you can pay for YouTube premium and then there's no ads. Any person can do yeah, that. But, That's what that was. But does that mean that we don't get ad revenue? No, you still get we still get our ad revenue. Oh. You still get oh. I, why am okay, I saying we'll I, not, I haven't even had a monetized channel ever. <laughs> I'm not even monetized. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just waiting for my twenty bucks next month. <laughs> just, just want to get yeah, it. Yeah, oh. you could you, you people <laughs> could actually make a living doing this before the ad pocketblips. You know, um, the the ads like I ran started running ads on mine before the ad pocketblips. You know, and the amount of revenue that it generated kind of surprised me. I'm like, wow, you know, if I would get more than 
15,000 subscribers or something, I could almost like make a car payment or something like that. Yeah. And then now I have almost 60,000 subscribers. I haven't even approached the revenue with three times the number of videos out there. So many more subscribers, so many more views. I haven't even approached the uh, kind of revenue, which isn't that much from prior it's, to the yeah. ad apocalypse, whatever, you know, yeah. they did, which was oh. drastic. It cut it by like a quarter or more. Three you know? quarters. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. Like I was showing. Yeah. I cut uh, it down to a quarter of what quarter. it was. Yeah. It was crazy. Right. Um, there's the, what's the program I was using? Social Blades. Uh, in an episode yeah. like a week or two ago, I was showing show, Social Blades and my one friend, Alien Scientist, his channel. Uh, he, they've had him stuck at 109,000 subscribers for over two years. And it showed how they, they delete over 9,000 subscribers in one month, deleted like another thousand here, 3,000 mm -hmm. there, like just crazy. And then it also yeah. showed they deleted three and a half million views. <laughs> Of his yeah, I had point. I That's had 148,000 views deleted in one day. Exactly, like it, it's insane. It's insane. So anyone thinking you can make you a living off of it these crazy days, stuff. Well, the other yeah. thing is, like, even if we were making money, we we could wake up tomorrow and have no channel. Like that's yeah. what we we just don't know. Everyone knows what's going on, right? And it's happened to other people. So you know, even if people out there with an income especially in this um niche right talking about what i we feel for anybody that's that, that loses their to channel you. due to youtube's bullshit i really do yeah that's because youtube's a bunch I know, of so assholes i, I yeah, really they, 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 they're gonna hang themselves from you know what they're doing oh of course yeah they've done themselves already because they they got rid of all the channels where people with jobs who spend money and they're just left with the crap we're being watched by teenagers who don't buy anything. Thank you, Marcel. So, yeah, they've cut their just own Just a matter charge. of time. Um, I mean, all right, know, we're coming up on two hours and 40 minutes. How are you going there, Doug? Have you got any? Yeah, any no, I, I should probably go now. It's pretty late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I thought I knew it was late for you. I can see you starting speaking to of, Speaking off, of so. working. <laughs> yeah, 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 everybody's got to get ready for their day jobs tomorrow because clearly we make so much off of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. yeah clearly right. we're millionaires, right? <laughs> so yeah, we might have been there two hours and 40 minutes. So um, 444 of you still online watching. So thank you, for everyone in the chat. Thank you for all the donations. We love you all. Thank you for all the the nice comments and everything and just for being awesome and being here and, and thank you for listening. thanks for listening um and of course thank you to doug um first time we've had a chat in a while first time on the round table and bees and of course bernie as usual so hope you enjoyed that one guys um if you're wondering what we're talking about there's videos out there but, but don't go and watch them because you'll give them money <laughs> and views <laughs> but you know the channel um it's all up there on that AE war. E -wook. A -A -A God, God, e -wook. war. And Make if you that. don't know the definition of a wook, look up what a wook <laughs> is because e wook e and counterfeit nickels. <laughs> guaranteed that they're going to flip several times and it's going to be a flop on <laughs> flip flop radio. You're getting triggered, Bernie. You're getting triggered, man. Don't get triggered. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We love you all. Thank you for being with us. And we shall talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Bye -bye.